standby chat. Last couple of bits and pieces. Very, very windy today, so we're just uh, taking our time, just making sure everything's in the right place. Do um, you want to take a picture of that thing then? I'll get us cracking. Here we go. Right, hokey coke. It is very, very windy today, folks. I'm trying to work out where that whistling's actually coming from. Is that an us thing, guys? Welcome to what is a very, very windy day here at Manchester Airport. Welcome to the Super Sunday Show, live from the Runway Visitor Parks control tower here at the at Manchester Airport. We are airliners live, bringing you the Super Sunday Show live a little bit early today, but there's a lot going on at the moment here on the ground. Uh, we've got Martin up on the camera to start the show today. Hey guys. And um, we've got myself, uh, my name's Andy, and I'm down in the studio. Keeping an eye on the, the chat and uh, radar and things like that. We have a lot of aircraft pinging on the ground at the moment, including a Etihad Airways 787-10 Dreamliner. An aircraft about to touch down in these very windy conditions today is... Uh, Lufthansa's A319 from Munich. Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing on this wonderful Sunday morning? Can we get some wave emotes from our wonderful VIPs in the chat? And we'll shout a few out. All right, stand by, guys. I'm zooming out just while... Uh... I just want to check if that whistling's on one of our channels or whether it's literally just something on the hot that's making it noise. Lee Davies, welcome to you, Carl Crawford. Hello. 
Marcel Lanz, Wayne uh, Cockwell, Marco Kane, Chris Luby, Wadders is in the chat. Carl's okay, well, in the that's, chat. Our, uh, that's our external mic that's whistling. All right. Um, how can we fix that? Hmm. Um, I wonder if you could put it inside and just have it out the window, I guess. Might yeah, be a, it might be a good shout. I don't know if the commentary's on today, because if they're not, and it looks like they're not, then that will be an easy fix. Mikey's in the chat, Yorkshire Rose, Lee Williams, Frank McCabe, Sue Lawson, Lisa Mantz, Paul Brooks, G Power 3, all in the chat. Is it raining in Manchester? No, I don't think it's forecast to rain, but it is very, very windy. And when it's this windy, it generally means that the weather um, cells travel very quick as well. So uh, things can change very quick for us. I thought the whistle was a kettle boiling. <laughs> Certainly sounded like it. Yeah, if it becomes a nuisance, guys, we'll... Uh shift the uh, aviation audio spot somewhere else then or we may just turn the aviation audio down a touch today it is very windy though it is crazy conditions and we did not expect it at all we are getting blasted here at manchester airport It's going to make for some very interesting conditions on the uh, on the arrivals onto two three right. Currently on their single runway operations. The whole tower is just rocking with this wind blasting it. Tap A321 Neo. Yep. This is the um, shuttle service from Lisbon. It's nice to see the 321 Neo actually from Tap. Usually fly the 320 Neo. Usually uh, the largest aircraft they fly, but something different today. And the next to arrive will be an Air France hop service, uh, Embraer 190 from Paris Charles de Gaulle. Yeah, I'm going to uh, shift our aviation audio guys to so just uh, stand by for us. The winds on flight radar 24 are just saying 12 knots. No chance, is there no 12 chance? knots? Yeah, that is a complete lie. What is like a. Let's see what the BBC weather app is saying here at Manchester. Ah, oh, we can hear again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, that should be better, guys. Oh. Are we good? I think I've fixed it. Um, we've got our aviation mic there today because up on there it's just whistling like mad so it might pick up a few things in here just just an FYI <laughs> just in case you something really upsets you you both start having a swearing match at each other <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm just annoyed at the uh, I wanted to get the RX oh yeah that was just oh that's a shame Steve, that's our aviation audio mic today, mate. Because up there it's too, it's just whistling like mad. <clears throat> yeah, all the weather apps, the um, the winds they're detailing is not right. It feels a lot windier here. Flying architect saying it's 22 knots, gusting to 32. That sounds a bit more. Yeah, that sounds more like what's happening up here today. I'll be honest. Yeah. All right, let's get back on with this. Let's get settled in now. Always adapting here on the channel. Of course. Not happy with uh, you guys having whistling for the next four hours, so <laughs> definitely worth a couple of minutes to get that sorted out for you. I hope that sounds a bit better now, guys. Let us know in the uh, in the chat. 
Yep, just as uh, Kelvin Jones drops a 20 pound super chat. Hey, cheers, Kelvin. Uh, saying good morning, Martin and Andy, and everyone have a coffee sometime. Yep. Yeah, we're uh, gonna need that today. We will. Here's that Air France hop just touching down from uh, Paris. It's that windy, I've not got my airliner's life cap on today. Oh yes. <laughs> feel lost without it. Uh, we also have a Ryanair 737-800 uh, holding a Juliet 1 at the moment. Ready to use runway 1. Like I said, just one runway in use uh, for most of the live show today. Um, they keep on runway one until about half one, which is when we'll be wrapping up anyway. Um, on a Sunday, so it's a, it's a new edition. I think it's a summer 2022, um, basically uh, plan, no time, I guess. Where on Sundays, they uh, only use single runway operations from 9.30 in the morning till 1.30 in the afternoon. And Marco Kane gifting five Airliners Live VIP memberships on hey, YouTube. Cheers, Mark. Then the show started nice and early. Yeah. And this right now is just lining up to take off now, just have a look at this crosswind when this will take guys. as a 757 did just before we went live a 757 took off and as it lifted up it really had to put a bit of correction in to yeah. uh, straighten itself back out again and that Ryanair was a Ryanair UK service off to Marrakesh but once again thank you Mark O'Kane for the five gifted memberships on uh, YouTube thank you Mark appreciate it mate um, and also after that Following that, Chris Luby gifting five Airliners Live VIP memberships on YouTube as well. Hey, cheers, Chris. Thank you very much, dude. So five, uh, a total of ten uh, non-VIPs just getting gifted uh, a membership to Airliners Live on YouTube. Uh, if you did get gifted one, make sure you say thank you in the chat. Awesome. Yeah, membership gifting is a great way to support the channel and the community, guys. So if you do want to support us today in these conditions, feel free to drop some gifted memberships. That will give someone in the chat one month's free access to all of our emotes in the chat, which is really kind of you to do. And it also supports the channel as well. Yep. And uh, Mike Romeo, or MR, um, with a two months of business class, saying thrilled to be um, one more... Wait, th uh, thrilled to be there one more time together with the AL family from France, Maurice. Well, thank you very much, Maurice. I appreciate the uh, two months of business class. Cheers, Maurice. And also, Miss Wolves with a two months of business class as well. Just saying, wow, thank you. Well, thank you, Miss Wolves. And Loopy over on Twitch subscribing for seven months in a row. What a nice guy. Yay. Cheers, Loopy. Cheers, Loops. Dad just confirming that the audio is fixed as well. Yeah, I can't hear that. The kettle's not boiling anymore. No. Um, should see in shot any moment now, the Etihad Dreamliner. Taxiing uh, up. Yeah, he's just uh, on the way out. And just have a look on radar, see what else is happening. So obviously we've got a big, nice big heavy going out at the moment. The Etihad service to um, Abu Dhabi. 
and also on approach we got uh, two sequential arrivals of the same airline it's um, two British Airways aircraft um, one's an A320neo and one's an A319 uh, one's from London Gatwick and the other's from London Heathrow oh well she Kev that's a shame mate but I'm uh, I'm happy for you dude that you got yourself a new place and unfortunately you may not be able to make the fare but um, I hope that you uh the move isn't too stressful for you, mate. And uh, yes. I'm sure we'll see you uh, at the next one. Unfortunately, we are blocked again by uh, the parking space that is in front of us with that biz jet, but it's not blocking the main action, which is uh, the arrivals and departures, which is good. Yeah, no worries, Welshie. No worries, dude. It sounds windy. It certainly is windy today. It's very, very windy. It's mainly the gusts, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty gusty today. And Philip Robinson, thank you very much for the five pounds super chat saying, Hi guys, I'm actually here today doing college coursework. Hey. You're doing your coursework at the RVP? <laughs> it's all getting blown away. We won't have any left by the end. <laughs> Thanks very much for the super chat, dude. And Sue Lawson with a 22 months of business class. Wow. Wow, you're only a couple of months away from uh, your gold tail badge. 22 months. Is that how long we've been on YouTube for? Yeah, well, we got gold tail badges as well, haven't we, in the chat? So two years. Like, um, does hey, John Pezzo have one? By, you know? Yeah, it's gone quick, hasn't it? Two years? Yeah, I remember, um, because it was 2020, you know, the first lockdown, we were on YouTube then, and YouTube wasn't very big back that in that summer. No. Like, we were averaging maybe, like, 50 viewers, maybe, I think we'd get, like, 300 on a big show, um, like, one of the Virgin Atlantic retirement flights on YouTube, but Facebook was, like, our main platform then. But there was a couple of people who were VIPs on YouTube then. And um, obviously since then, YouTube's gone pretty wild. Uh, Sue's saying, it should say 21 months. I love this channel. Looking forward to seeing everyone at the memorabilia fair. Yeah, I, it was lovely meeting you last time, Sue, at the, the fair. Uh, Sue and John. Um, we've still got our photo together, actually, from the, uh, the old pop-up uh, banner that we have at our stand, which will be making an appearance again at the next fair on the 23rd of July here at the Runway Visitor Park uh, in the Concord hangar. We're still yet to confirm wh wh where exactly our stand will be, but uh, we will let you know as soon as we know. I personally quite enjoyed the, the last location of the stand. There was a lot of space there. It was quite like, there was like an opening basically, you know, like yeah. a lot of like room to kind of stand around. And whereas I think towards the back, it gets a lot busier. Well, I've um, I've booked us on for two tables wide. Oh yeah, this time so we still should have some decent space on the stand anyway. So I think last time we were just a little bit cramped, and considering we're probably going to have more stuff with us this time and potentially more people coming down as well. Yep, definitely makes it worthwhile. So the Etihad obviously is going to wait for these two arrivals to come in, having um, needed to use the same runway. The first arrival is the London Gatwick service with uh, British Airways, it's an A320neo. And Robert Maynard with a four months of Executive Club. Oh. Wow. That's a big shout out to our Executive Club members. We've, uh, we've actually stayed the same. We've actually got six Executive Club members, guys. Yeah which is absolutely crazy. If any of you don't know what we're talking about, it was a new membership level, which uh, YouTube added for us. And uh, yeah, it's a very uh, high tier support level, guys. And we can't thank you enough um, to those who are a member of that. Yeah, really helping support the, uh, the channel and the many improvements and uh, maintenance of running such a live show. 
Robert yeah, Maynard. please do, well, too. Robert saying, um, thank you for sharing Manchester with the world. You put, you guys put on a brilliant show, and we all appreciate the hard work you do to bring us the planes every week. Cheers. Hey, you're welcome, mate. Thanks so much for tuning in every week as well. And that goes to everyone in the chat. One thing that I love the most um, about our regular shows is that we see uh, the same faces in the chat every week. Yes. Which means uh, that the community is going strong and, and everyone's enjoying it, which is uh, good feedback for us. So. Wow, we're already on two and a half thousand viewers on uh, on on YouTube. Nice. Maybe we got windy in the title. Oh, I, I, I'm way ahead of that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you fixed Twitch title by the way? Because a few um, people have said that's wrong. As okay, well. I will do that. Now for the the search for the um, the edit. <laughs> yeah, because Twitch has thought, why do you need to be able to find this button easily? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. We'll make you be able to find every other button easy though. There you go, I've got it. And uh, V-Man, thanks very much for subscribing for two months in a row over on Twitch. Cheers, dude. Appreciate you, V-Man. Let's get some hype in the chat on Twitch. Don't forget to check them Twitch Primes. Help us out, boys. Yeah, uh, a tip with Twitch. Rather than going onto the creator dashboard, which obviously would make sense, you just go onto your channel, and then it's just under your channel, you know, the video player. Oh, right, okay. That's what I do now. Thank you, Twitch, for letting us know. And uh, sadly, there is no. I don't know if there is. There might be a world to fly A350 in today. That'd be nice. It seems like um, the aircraft is based here in Manchester now. Let me have a look. Anyone? Anyone know? It'd be cool to see that today. Yeah, it was uh, a good stream to catch that arriving. Yes. Yep. So we went live on Friday for a bonus live show this week here at the Runway Visitor Park catching the first ever arrival of the World to Fly A350-900 which is a brand new aircraft only delivered in um, April 2022 to um, the airline World to Fly That's wow. very very rare to see planes coming off there Yeah, wow, even like biz jets don't do that and uh, just a big thank you to uh, Adrian Lawford, who sent 200 stars on Facebook. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Adrian. Appreciate that. If you are watching on Facebook, you can support the channel with stars. It is a great way to support us. Um, can I gift him for membership for... Uh, I don't know what you mean, Sawmill, sorry. Jeep, <laughs> I was saying you can leave very windy in the title. It should be the same for the next stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just live from windy well, Manchester. Well, talking about the uh, the next stream, we put a vote out, and you guys have spoken, and uh, we are now moving our midweek show to be an evening show every single week until the RVP changes their hours. Yes. So. Um, if you uh, didn't see last week's show, you're in for a treat next week because, um, yeah, the lighting was just amazing and everyone loved it. Uh, so from yeah. now on, our Wednesday shows are going to be going live at 4 p.m., guys, until about 7.30. Yes, the, the last... That show, like, the, the vote that you put out was literally, like, a unanimous... Yeah, I uh, think there was only one vote to say keep it at 10 a.m. Mm. And there was like 70 votes on it or something daft. That's insane. The people have spoken. Yeah, Tom, yes, it's very, very windy at Manchester today. Uh, okay. Oh no, the world to fly A350 has gone back to uh, Madrid for today. Oh, that's and it's going to do a, a Madrid a flight, not with TUI anymore, but I think their own air, uh, operations to put to Kana. Oh, well. Might see it again soon. Now we're ready to depart.
Etihad Flight 16 back to Abu Dhabi with um, the 787-10 Dreamliner today, the largest of the Dreamliners. Did you read out Amanda White's uh, super chat? Uh, no, um, everything's kind of lay down flat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, Amanda White with a £10 super chat saying uh, thank you for your excellent shows. Grab a pork pie on me, guys. Well, I had two pork pies I went and got from Sainsbury's yesterday. And I've left them in the fridge, along with a bacon sandwich that I made for myself. <laughs> well, it's no good there, is it? I know. I thought, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? When I put it in the fridge last night, I said to myself, I'm going to forget that. <laughs> and, uh, here we are. Well, there you go. You're right. This Ryanair just coming in, in from Gothenburg over in Sweden. 787... Sorry, 737 Adrian Lawford, thanks for sending 500 stars on Facebook. Appreciate that, mate. Yeah, I can't look at the chat and film at the same time. Yeah, that's right. My uh, filming is so... chats open anyway so and if you log in on facebook yeah with l and you're viewing the channel as airliners live okay it gives you like um a little update at the bottom as to you it's kind of like a little alert window kind of like youtube okay which is cool i've just noticed that today that's how i saw that 500 uh, that we missed. Uh, yeah i think i can see so it'll show at the bottom like little bubbles yeah 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 i see that facebook seems to have made some pretty decent improvements recently and i'll be honest i was watching on facebook the other day and the picture quality out of all three seems to be the best of it not gonna lie nice yep so hello to everyone watching on facebook if you are watching on facebook give us a hello in the chat well there's no way you're tuning in from as well that's always nice Whoa, huge gifty on uh, YouTube, by the way. Really? From one of our executive club members. Woo! Robert Maynard sending in 20. Wow, Robert. <laughs> Airliners Live memberships, 20. Robert, that's a huge, huge donation and membership drop. Let's get some mega ones in the chat for Robert, gifting yeah. 20 viewers VIP access for a month. What a guy. Robert, cheers. I'm going to read them out. That really, really supports the community and the channel. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you, Robert. Oh, can I just say, Stanley saying hello from the Wirral. There you go. Hey, big up, <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> um, right. Robert Maynard gifted 20 Airlines Live VIP memberships. They went to um, Bob Sherunkel, uh, Ken Passe, Ludmila Modrikova, uh, Jade Leanne Banks, Jeff Rora, Charlotte Johnson, George Ward, Musa, Abby X, Ian Liversey, Joseph Williamson, Gaza T, oh, so many, <laughs> Cliff Elson, Freshy Marco, um, Roaming Adventures UK, I thought he was a VIP already, I'm sure he was. Yeah, um, also as well. And Nix, Diamond, Ronald, TPE Sam, another one I thought he was a, a VIP. Maybe they expired, I'm assuming. And now they've just been given another me like month's membership for free. Um, Dev Vemula, and that is all. So all 20 of the VIPs have just got gifted a, a membership from Robert Maynard. Thanks very much, Robert. That's massive, man. Just in time for a break to catch this uh, noisy mosquito, which is the uh, Logan Air ATR 72 from the Isle of Man.
Best record of five pounds. Super Chat saying, have a drink on me, watching from a windy Cleethorpes. Love the show. Thanks very much, Patrick. Gosh, Cleethorpes, I'd never heard of it a couple of weeks ago, and now uh, I've heard lots about it. It was just a couple of weeks ago we were looking it up, <laughs> trying to figure out where it was. It's on the aircraft on the way out as well, well lots of it. It's on the east, isn't it? East coast, uh, like a coastal town, right? Wow, so much uh, action in the chat, though, in regards to support coming in. Uh, and also Ian Wright with a seven months of premium economy. Um, just saying uh, good morning from a windy Cleethorpes. No way! Another <laughs> one. Is everyone from Cleethorpes? Anyone else in the chat from Cleethorpes? Let us know. We'll just see if there's a bit of a squad in the chat. The whole town's watching. They've got us on the uh, big TV at the shopping centre. <laughs> Loopy, thank you very much for the 100 stars, mate. Appreciate it, Loopy. Can't say I've ever been to Cleethorpes. I've never even been to like, the east of, of England before. The furthest east I've been is, is York. <laughs> that says a lot. Adrian Lawford with the 400 stars saying, here's some more stars, guys. Adrian, I'm really sorry if we're missing your uh, star donations, dude. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, trying to just flick back and, and see but thank you so much Adrian for your support on Facebook today that's been massive mate yeah and Loopy sending in a hundred stars a minute ago as well thank you very much cheers Loopy I know um, at the moment they have a bit of a discount on stars at the moment uh, yeah Facebook they've got a bit of a star sale on I think they said yeah so um, if you're on Facebook and you want to support us feel free to send us some stars they just go to help uh, cover the cost of running the channel and things And I do appreciate all the uh, support massively. It really does help out a lot. And you can see the the work we put into the channel. It's funny because literally everything here if I stand it up, it falls up. <laughs> <laughs> it is very so windy. these screens are just catching the sun. And is that another 500 from Adrian Lawford? That's it. Thank you very much, dude. Yeah, you're going to have to keep your eye on Facebook, I think. Yeah, no, I, I seen that coming, but I was like, is that the one that you already read out? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Adrian, we're doing our very best to keep up, dude. Thank you very much. Cheers, Adrian. Appreciate it. And... Um, yeah, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, um, very warm welcome to you. Everyone tuning in on Twitch as well. Hope you're doing well, Twitch crew. Yes. Um, believe me, ladies and gents, a couple of you guys in the chat saying the same, that uh, it is actually a lot windier than the likes of um, weather apps are saying, weather websites. Yeah. Uh, I think it's mainly the, um, the gusting. Um, yeah. Flying Arctic put in the chat, I think he got it from a Metar, that it's gusting like 32 knots at the moment, which is... Um, well, I actually know that um, from one of the um, Ryanair first officers saying that uh, gusting 33 knots is the limit of a 737. So obviously we're, we're right next to the limit of what a 737 can, can do. And I'm sure, it, it, is it lower or higher on a, an Airbus A320? I can't remember which way round it is. I think they can tolerate more. John will know. Yeah, yeah it was John who actually told me. I'm sure someone in the chat will know. The A320 family can either tolerate more or less, I can't remember what it is. But uh, we've not seen any um, diversions or anything like that, it seems to be pretty uh, awesome. We're doing all right at the minute. Yeah. Thanks very much for the 50 stars, Patricia. Appreciate that a lot. Yep. Thanks and for supporting the channel. Tony Rivers on uh, YouTube saying, um, uh, with a five months of premium economy, saying Sunday mornings are simple, airliners live and bacon sardine. That's a... Uh, a nice easy recipe for a nice morning isn't it our uh, Sunday mornings on Airliners Live are sacred it's like our biggest show of the of the week and it's a show that we uh, want to guarantee we're always here uh, unless crazy situations prevent us from being live every Sunday morning from 10am UK time Yeah, 
headliner's live jacket collars smacking me on the face. Oh my <laughs> god! <gosh. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Jordan Bentley with a 99 stars on Facebook as well. Thank you, Jordan. And Michael um, Chappelle on um, Facebook saying how much is membership, please, chaps. I'm flying to JFK in September. Well, we do have membership on uh, Facebook, um, but I'd recommend the best value would be becoming a member on uh, YouTube. And the reason for that is because you get a lot more. Uh, you get like a tower badge next to your name in YouTube chat. You get all custom emotes. You get YouTube VIP only videos as well. Yeah. Um, so, Michael, if you want to head on over to YouTube and watch the live stream on YouTube, would highly recommend it. Same for anyone on Facebook, really, because um, just the overall experience in the chat and things uh, on YouTube is uh, much more. And as Andy said, we are regularly putting out VIP only content over there as well. And um, yeah, so if you just search for Airliners Live on YouTube, we're live over there now as well. A couple of thousand people in the chat there, guys. So if you're watching on Facebook, feel free to head over. And if you do head over, um, subscribe to the channel. And once you've been subscribed for about a minute, you'll be able to chat um, in the stream. So that's all you need to do to get access to the chat. And once you've done that, feel free to say hello and uh, let us know that you've moved over, guys. 3.1 thousand watching on YouTube alone. That's crazy. Well, 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 Welcome everyone. That's quite a big uh, number. I'm sure a lot of you are here for the uh, the uh, the very windy action that's happening here at Manchester at the moment. There is a Tui um, Fly special uh, aircraft uh, at the start. Uh, yeah, start, and that's uh, off to Paphos in uh, Greece, I believe. We also have one of our favourite uh, liveries pinging up on the ground at the moment. Um, I think it's been pushed back. It's hard to tell on radar. But um, it's a Sun Express 737. The teacher, nice to see you over on uh, Twitch. First time I'm Rika, yes, with the good shout, ladies and gents, everyone watching on YouTube, if you could do us a huge favour and hit that like button as well, it really helps us out a lot, we've got like 3,000 in the chat, if the majority of you hit it now, it would uh, work absolute wonders, it would go flying up, and it really helps us out, so if you're really enjoying the stream as well. The more people that like the stream, the more people that get recommended it, which means that more people can enjoy this uh, live, windy Manchester Airport action here on your Super Sunday. Yeah, sorry about that, Michael Smith. It's, it's nothing personal, dude. It's just we picking out messages as as we see them. So yeah. keep getting your messages in there on YouTube, mate. And uh, I'm sure at some point we'll read them out. It's, uh, yeah, when there's a few thousand people watching across three platforms, it's very difficult to just always read messages out, I'm afraid, dude. Yeah, I try to read out as many as possible, but obviously, um, you know, there's things we want to talk about. There's, uh, we got like, the aviation. Yeah, of do a bit of the talking as well. As yeah, so that's why we're not just constantly reading out every message. It's a nice balance, I think. Yeah, there are no 747s at Manchester anymore, I'm afraid. We do have um, one uh, or two movements of 747s coming up in July that we're going to cover on Airliners Live with the Atlas Air, which is running um, football charter flights here at Manchester Airport for some um, pre-season friendly uh, matches. Uh, so we're going to see the, hopefully, I'd, I'd like to catch the person of the departure live at least, uh, but maybe both the arrival and departure of the Atlas 747, I think the 400 series aircraft. And Adrian, thanks for another 500 stars on Facebook, mate. Absolutely smashing the support on Facebook today, dude. Thank you, Adrian. Yeah, really appreciate it. goes the Tui fly off to uh, Paphos, it's a 737 800. And they've got two aircraft ready to go, um, both holding short, both easy jets as well. First of all is an uh, easy jet A320 off to Munich, and then that's going to be followed by another one off to Sharm El Sheikh. So uh, one not too far away, and Sharm El Sheikh's a pretty long flight actually from, from Manchester. 
and Gordon Clough. Thanks for the 340 stars on Facebook saying keep up the great work, lads. Thank you very much, Gordon. Cheers, dude. And Richard Beardmore with the £4.49 super sticker. Just, Richard, just saying, uh, keep it up. We certainly will. We're loving it, guys. We could not be happier with the channel. And just, I, I guess our lives at the minute, just getting to do this for a living is, is an absolute bonus, guys. We're, uh, we're absolutely loving it. And uh, we've got loads planned for you guys. Me and Andy are just, oh, honestly, we're just always talking about things we can do, new things we can try, new videos that we want to do, new places we want to go. So, yeah, we're, we're super, super hyped at the moment uh, with the channel. We've got a few things planned coming up. We've got new merch, which has arrived, which we've not told you about. We've got amazing new merch on the way, which is uh, going to be awesome. All ready for the fair. Oh yes, we received delivery of the first of the um, the debut items for the fair. Yeah, uh, was it Friday or Thursday they got delivered or something like that? Uh, not sure. Uh, but they were. They are really nice. They are the, these products we keep getting. Like they always blow me away. Like they always end up being so much nicer in person. So anyway, that enough of that. We'll be debuting a bunch of new merchandise items at the Task Member Fair, twenty third of July. Saturday, be there, we'll be there from about 10 a.m. We'll be open here at the Runway Visitor Park. And you don't even have to pay to get it, you just pay for your parking here at the Runway Visitor Park. You just show up, you don't need to, there's no tickets, there's no pre booking, um, there's no um, fee to get into the event. It's just the usual situation. You pay for your parking here at the Runway Visitor Park, and that's it. Yeah, come into the event. Caps are due to be with us on the 30th of this month, Robin. So for anyone who's pre-ordered caps, they're due with me on the 30th, so we'll be shipping them out either on the 30th or the 31st. So you guys. Thanks for everyone who has pre-ordered them. There are some still available if you've not pre-ordered yours yet, or we'll have the leftover stock at the uh, fair as well. I believe it's anywhere between like six quid is the minimum, um, and all day it's just twelve quid. So bear yeah, I think in mind. There's a command in the chat as well that will put that up. Yeah. So bear in mind um, that is all day. You get access to everything at the Rummy Visitor Park. They've actually recently reopened the Trident here, um, which is uh, the Trijet. Uh, airliner that's static here on the ground you can now go inside and you don't have to book it you just show up and it's just uh, open to the public uh, just like the um, Avro RJX that is here as well um, that gives you access to walking through the Concorde hangar as well you've got loads of static aircraft here I think five in total uh, you've got access to amazing views of the aviation action loads of outdoor space picnic benches and things the RVP cafe the aviation society shop there's toilets on site as well close parking uh, definitely worth it so for just yeah, 12 quid for, for the all day with for the whole family that's like honestly a bargain I think they still have the um, the 360 motion simulator here at the RVP as well yeah. um, not many people know about it but if you're ever at the RVP and you fancy something silly to do isn't it like six, six quid each quid, I think. yeah I think six quid each so if you go with two um, there's a full um, motion simulator here where you can fly an aircraft and it, it's 360 so it actually goes inverted as well and it's like a, uh, a combat simulator so um, that is a lot of fun we, we, we've been in it on the channel there's actually a video of it on our YouTube page and uh, check that out because it's uh, a lot of fun Dina thanks for the 200 stars saying Stella show guys appreciate that Dina thank you very much I think there's a message from Robert Maynard as well Andy on the so, having mentioned that, like, working in traffic for a while, the first thing you do when you come on visit in a traffic is to check your weather. And we always do that through here, and uh, that's quite a bit of an overcoming, and you're not, not going to get some rain, there's actually a band of rain uh, over between Chester
Well, there goes the EasyJ 320 Neo. I think it's a Neo, I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, off to Sharm El Sheikh, which is in Egypt, I believe. Uh, I can't see that message on about is it? Um, yeah, you know what, it may be better to have Facebook on your phone, you know, because it gives you loads of, like, notes. Oh, uh, sorry, on Facebook, sorry, I was looking at the YouTube chat. Um, Robert Maynard, one of our executive uh, members, sending him 500 stars, saying I'm going back to YouTube before um, you could use a few stars. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Legend, cheers, Robert. Doc Finley, great to see you on Twitch. Hope you're doing well, dude. And Simon Berryman with 50 stars as well on uh, Facebook. And did you read out Dina's as well? Yeah. Thank you very much, Dina. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. Like, never had so many stars ever on uh, Facebook. Hope you're enjoying the show, whatever platform you are watching on. And John Peel in the chat is saying we've hit 1k likes. Thank you very wow. much, everyone. Not even 40 minutes in. I blame my dad with the 449 super chat saying uh, just a little something from a very windy uh, lease on the world coast. Um, if it heads your way, you're in for some fun. Cheers, guys and girls. Well, I think it's already reaching us, mate. If it's getting worse than this, then uh, yeah, we need to keep our heads on a swivel. But uh, thank you very much for the donation and the uh, support, mate. Lisa, eh? That's uh, a nice coastal town on the Wirral. I myself am from the Wirral. Well, I was raised there. I wasn't born there. And uh, from good old Debbington. Debbington. Yeah, that's it. Right, let's have a look on radar. Let's see what's going on. I think we got an aircraft on final approach. It's a A320 Neo with EasyJet from Belfast. Not seeing it yet. Owen Flemmer saying who's attending the aviation fair then? You're banned. He's banned. No, yeah, he's not going. <laughs> What's he done now? He's he's uh, watched Love Island too much, so he's uh, not allowed to come. Well, yeah, Love Island uh, conflicts with the, sh the fair, doesn't it? So yeah. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it. He's gonna have to have, you won't be able to watch all the cap jumps <laughs> on E4, you know, and all the behind the scenes. Some scouser nicked my sunbed this morning. <laughs> I think that was the wind, that. I think your next door neighbour's got it on Marketplace now. Andy Parker saying, I work in Bebbington. Well, there you go. Small world, though. Small world. I went to school in Bebbington. I think there's only three schools, I think. Three high schools. Martin just picking up um, a bird of prey there. Getting uh, blown around just as much as uh, our devices are. Yeah, I think we got just a visual of the EasyJet. It's currently at 2,200 feet, about to touch down at Manchester. There's also uh, two aircraft that start pinging on the ground. Uh, in fact, one of them's the Sun Express 737 from earlier. Uh, but we have picking up on the ground another repositioning flight we've seen this same reposition flight last Sunday it's a Virgin Atlantic flight and its destination on radar is showing as Belfast he's uh, looking for a G stew isn't it? oh yes so that is a Virgin Atlantic A330 that we're going to see departing soon. Another wide body departure in these windy conditions at Manchester. Expecting uh, a couple of um, heavies today, including the Emirates A380 as well, which is due in um, pretty much an hour's time, almost bang on. Neo 
Oh, oh, shout out to the AP20, CEO and NEO later. It is a little bit confusing. Particularly now, it wasn't in the beginning, but it wasn't. It is now. Brian Bruce with a 10 US dollar super chat on YouTube. Say good morning from a muggy and warm Detroit, 22 degrees Celsius. Hope you're having a good morning. Don't get blown away. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, got, I got rocks in my boots, I'm all right. <laughs> Thank you, Brian, appreciate it. Sounds lovely over there today, 22 yeah, degrees. Well, Brian. It's not particularly warm here today. It's like upper teens, maybe 17 degrees Celsius, but the wind obviously just takes it out of you. I think it'd feel all right if it wasn't windy. Yeah, it would be quite a nice temperature. Carlwyn Davies with a five New Zealand dollars saying happy Sunday in Manchester. Love your streams always, but unfortunately we'll be watching 4 p.m. live uh, stream on Wednesday as it'll be 3 a.m. here. Yeah, that's uh, the slight technicality, isn't it, with uh, doing evening shows here in uh, the UK is our beloved um, Australasian viewers uh, can't uh, tune in unless you're uh, awake very early in the morning. <laughs> Appreciate it, Carl, and I appreciate the continued support. It's a thrill if the EasyJet arrives in from Belfast, off our cell road, because uh, you perhaps think it's not an international thing, people are supposed to be called next day. Uh, just as I mentioned earlier about the US Tech itself preparing for their departure. Well, we have a version at Manchester Bay 330, uh, that is uh, preparing for its departure out to Belfast. Uh, it's on a position of flight. More than likely we've been doing some flights here at Manchester uh, and it's on the way out to do, I believe, that they'll have to have an Orlando flight. Well, I'll probably be on the but I'll be on the way out to operate the Orlando flight at the Delta. I just go to my um, uh, Doc Finley with a Twitch Prime as well on the 18th month of hey, Twitch Prime. Cheers, I just want to appreciate that, Doc Finley. That's a slightly different to the normal... 18 months, wow. That's one of the longest on Twitch, that. Yeah, it is a long term Twitch support. But in the main, they are 18 to 200. Now, this is their class, they are 18 to 300. Thorny, not so epic gaming, but a four months of business class, a long time uh, so see, gents. Is that, I'm guessing that's a long time no see. Uh, gotta love the windy approaches. Yes, and thank you for the four months of business class. Appreciate it. Yeah, it makes for some of a difference. It is not too rare to get windy conditions at Manchester, but this is uh, a lot windier than, than usual. And Samil with the two months of business class saying good morning from a sunny day in Western India. It's 42 degrees Celsius here. I love your live streams for all of us. Cheers. That is absolutely roasting 42 degrees Celsius. No, thank you. I know. Like we said, like, it has been um, peaking at about 30 degrees Celsius here in the UK in the last week. And I was over in uh, Greece last week doing a bit of filming and it was about 30 degrees Celsius there. And that was just, that was making me dizzy, that heat, you know. So uh, fair play to you guys. Yeah, people say there's 10 knot winds. It is. It's not, it's yeah. maybe 10 knots, but it's gusting. Yeah, it's gusting it's a lot more. So you need to look at. And that's the Avro Theatre, which is actually turned to your right there. There's a small display of uh, historical artifacts from the history of the airport. Um, quite a lot of stuff has been preserved over the years. We've turned the space in that display. So there's a few things on the. Yeah, we do need to update, uh, Lupi just saying in a mod chat, we need to update the schedule command, but also we need to update the schedules in general. Um, yeah, I'll do that when I get back close. Cheers, mate. I struggle with 30s, never mind 40s, yeah. Even like the upper 20s gets a bit too much, and especially here in the UK, where we're not designed to cope with warm, because all of our like houses and things in the UK are very, very like well insulated 
limited. Um, there's not a lot of ventilation. Obviously, there's no aircon in the majority of houses as well. We might have like one desk fan somewhere, or you know, one of them upright Dyson fans, you know. But uh, generally, we're not prepared for the heat over here. We spend all year trying to keep warm. Jeep, I was saying I've worked in 45 degrees. Oh, so. what? That's like at that point you start getting a bit of a crisp on don't you oh my gosh that is like an oven yeah you could fry eggs by leaving them on the table that's insane I, I think as you get older you get less tolerant to the heat as well I remember back in the day maybe when I was like in my early 20s I could just lie in the sun in like upper 20s all day not get burned not feel sunstroke just like you know, have a great time out in the sun. And these days, as soon as it's above 25 degrees, 20, maybe 24, I, I start to get sunstroke. I start to get dizzy. I burn easy. It's like, what happened? <laughs> like, I got older. <laughs> There's literally not a better dead cat that we can order, the guys. <laughs> if, if we put a better dead cat on this microphone, you won't be able to hear anything. Yeah, that's true. The one we've got on there is so thick already. It's just the end of the day if we're streaming in up to 30 knot gusts as much as we don't want you to you're gonna hear the wind and, and it is what it is here's what it is right it's about to touch down is a another Lufthansa this is an A319 from uh, Frankfurt taxiing out I don't know if you've seen it yet the uh, Virgin Atlantic A330 just see it now get it around the corner we've got an approach as well what's this approaching uh, Lufthansa A319 ok uh, and this Virgin Atlantic is a repositioning flight it's even got Papa at the end of its uh, call sign which uh, insinuates a repositioning uh, it's only heading to Belfast so this will be up very early this aircraft uh, today, the runway, second runway, will be in operation uh, again today from 1 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Noise cancellation. See, there are some streamers out there I know who use things like um, wind removal and noise cancellation, but they just make the audio so low quality. Like, Yeah, and it, just, it literally just uses phasing to yeah. detect wind. And obviously, how can, the, how can a noise cancellation determine between what's wind noise and what's engine noise yeah it doesn't so it doesn't know so all that happens is you just start phasing out the engine noise and it just sounds really wonky it yeah. doesn't sound right at all it sounds like it's underwater it yeah. usually it's like that kind of sound it's very weird whoa bit of a, a wobble there on final approach for the Lufthansa and uh super chat coming from Mike Hill Brownie oh yes Mike Hill with a £20 super chat saying Sunday routine now gents keep up the good work cannot get uh, chat through Sky apps cannot get the chat through Sky apps are you watching on TV or are you Mike? Uh, I had to use the phone any ideas or is that a user error uh, it's probably the limitation of the application I'd say yeah uh, anyway let's see if we get any go arounds today Mike um, yeah I think uh, it's it's likely um, we'll see For all those who are tuning in, a very warm welcome. Thanks for tuning in on the Super Sunday Show. We're Airliners Live. If you're new to the channel, feel free to say hello and introduce yourself. Get involved in the chat. If you can't chat, it's because you need to click the subscribe button. And after one minute, YouTube will give you access to the chat. That's just to protect against spammers and things like that. So when I'm watching on TV, I have like a Chromecast, which lets me watch YouTube on TV. I think you can have the chat on the screen, but the best way to do it, in my opinion, is to just have the YouTube app open on your phone and then just full screen the, the chat or just have the chat open on your phone by going onto the YouTube and then going onto the live stream. And then you can use your phone to chat in the chat, right? You can still like use it as a normal chat and then you'll have a full TV of the yeah, so live stream. Yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, you can 
can actually swipe up on the chat and it basically makes the chat full screen which is really cool Paul Davies won £1.79 super chats bing bong saying quick hello before work hope you're all well Paul give it a rest with the donations mate kind of yeah you don't need to be donating to us at the minute sunshine thank you though Paul appreciate it bing bing bong cheers Paul hope everything's going alright mate uh, Lee Simpson with an eight months of premium economy saying I got some poisoning in Skiathos from a day of the sea. Well, thank you for the eight months uh, of premium economy, Lee. Yeah, Skiathos in Greece in general, uh, man, that sun can be dangerous. I actually, I don't know if you noticed on the video um, that I put out, but I was wearing a hoodie when I was there. Like it was 30 degrees Celsius temperature and it felt warm. Now. Like I said, it felt probably. 20, uh, th sorry, 35, maybe 34. It felt really hot. And I was wearing a hoodie. And uh, a lot of people were asking, like, why are you wearing a hoodie? It's so warm. But it actually kept me cool because it was a really thin white hoodie. And similar to how you see people in, like, the desert wearing these, like, white gowns and things and uh, headpieces, they actually keep you cool because they keep that high UV sun off you. Whereas if I was, like, stripped down into just, like, swimming trunks, then I've got all this sun just burning me, you know? It's going to make me overheat so much. So I was actually nice and cool in that. I was actually... I wasn't sweating too much. It was very nice and comfortable. And... Uh, I barely wore much sun cream and I didn't burn at all not even the tiniest bit I burned more in the UK <laughs> when I was uh, when I was lying in the sun when it was like 22 degrees Celsius <laughs> so, and I was out in the, in the sun all day from 8am till about 4pm I was just in the sun directly Stephen Ward with a premium economy membership on YouTube as well. Brand new VIP. Huge welcome to you, Stephen. Welcome, Stephen. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining VIP, mate. Cheers, Loop. Seeing the Singapore's now pinging up as well. We'll keep an eye open for that one. Yep, the Virgin Atlantic uh, A330. Now at the start of the runway. Probably waiting for this arrival, which is a Ryanair UK aircraft from um, Poland. So you say this is going light, is it? Yeah, it's only from, um, it's only going to Belfast. Oh, okay, so we'll be up super early then. Uh, off to Belfast International Airport. considering uh, it's only off to Belfast. Very lightly loaded aircraft repositioning over there. I'm not sure what they do at Belfast. Do they have flights from Belfast uh, versus Atlantic? I don't. They might have one. Um, I'll have a look into that. So they got that out before the, uh, the Ryanair arrival. And speaking of Virgin Atlantic, Melissa is in the chat, our Virgin Atlantic girl. Um, also saying that she's got a big exam tomorrow and final rigs on Thursday. So I think she'll be getting her wings this week, right, Melissa? Um, doing her training up for a, a Virgin Atlantic cabin crew. So uh, good luck to you, Melissa. All the luck. And then she said she's off to uh, Heathrow on Wednesday to visit the A350 and the A330. Nice. Wow, that is so exciting. I am overwhelmingly jealous. <laughs> People ready way across the end. You want to close with Concord? You can't keep walking in the nose there, okay? And you don't think you're going to go on a tour. You can't keep walking. 
Essentially, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's the other. Right, I just uh, made a short uh, turn there. We're changing from taxiway Bravo to taxiway Kilo, which the air is going down now. And this is a runway thing, though, with all the parts of the airfield have names, just like the road system does. Around the country, to find Panic, I, I don't know what you keep asking for the mods for, dude. Just give him a bit of a time out mod time. Don't know what's up, mate. Uh, Suzanne Jones on Facebook say, new to watching, excellent quality show. Hopefully we will come to the Aviation Day and say hello. That'll be awesome, Suzanne. That'll be great if you uh, come and see us. Um, if you really are enjoying our shows, Suzanne, I'd recommend checking out our YouTube channel because we're live streaming there at the moment as well. Uh, and there's about 3,000 people watching there, so that's where you'll find the majority of our community. Yep. So if you really want to sort of tune in regularly and get involved in the community, then just search for Airliners Live on YouTube and just go and say hello on there. You will need to click subscribe um, before you um, can chat. But once you've clicked that, it's completely free. Um, you can then get involved in the uh, huge community over on YouTube, which is... Uh, oh, hello. Get out clips. Twitch chat. Hey, well, I'm really picking up Augusta at the end there. It's very windy conditions here at Manchester Airport today. Going back, Robert Maynard with five US dollar super chat. Saying a little bit of wind sound coming through uh, on your dead cat, let us know. Uh, but it's <laughs> let us know it's windy without it actually being painful or too annoying. All good. Yeah, Robin, we're doing. We're pretty much uh, abated the, the wind noise as much as possible. And I mean, I wouldn't want to get rid of it completely because, like you say, it's atmospheric, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gives you a sense of what it's like at the airport without even being here, which is exactly what the stream's supposed yeah, to be about. Yeah. It's just giving you the uh, the experience of being here, basically. It's the Kelly LM 737 700 series for a change. When is the Emirates landing? In about less, about 45 minutes, I'd say. There's our Singapore. Kev saying great show, chatting in here and watching on the TV whilst trying to print paperwork off multitasking at its best. Hey, nice one, Kev. Glad you're enjoying the show, mate. There's some pretty good interaction on Facebook the last couple of shows. Cheers, guys. Yeah, and just taxiing out here, Singapore Flight 52. She's off to Houston. It's an A350 900 series aircraft. Another beautiful wide body. 
Uh, I think I did see Melissa's message earlier saying that she gets her wings on the 14th of July, do you say? Melissa, so that's a good... Not, not, not far away at all. I expect to see uh, some uh, content from uh, <laughs> from your flying. Yeah, send us a picture once you've uh, you've got those. Yeah, we'll, good. Uh, we'll get it on our socials. Good friend of the channel. Just touch it down is um, an EasyJet A320. Whiskey India on the registration, and uh, she's in from Copenhagen. It's an A320. Singapore, Singapore, the route that service is featured through Manchester. So we have a captain passing eye, which is huge for the 4264 at today's flight. And it's on its way out stateside, and it's huge for the If you want to go to Houston, but down south again, across the Atlantic, there's actually a little village called Houston that we've got with a 10 pounds super chat on YouTube as well saying hi guys have to quit, uh, clip my wings uh, but also have a great show you keep me going well, I hope you're all well Chrissy and uh, thank you for the 10 pounds super chat really generous of you thanks for supporting the channel really appreciate that and Scorp saying the clarity of your channel is amazing thank you very much mate I'm glad you're enjoying the feed. We broadcast twice a week from Manchester Airport, so if you do love your aviation, then uh, make sure you uh, tune in to Airliners Live. Lots of aviation content for you guys. We uh, stream twice a week from Manchester Airport. We have a flight sim show on Mondays with John Feather. We stream from Canada uh, every week when Henry gets back from holiday. Um, and we put out loads of 4K videos and shorts and pictures on our Instagram, guys. Everything about Airliners Live is all aviation related so uh, if you do love aviation then just make sure you follow us and uh, check out our socials if you put exclamation mark socials in the chat you'll get our links there that you can follow us on we also have uh, Turkish Airlines A321 Neo from Dalaman. Sorry, it's just a regular A321 on final approach. But first of the part will be this Lufthansa A319 that's just lined up uh, at Mike 1 intersection on the runway 23 right. On the taxi out goes another Virgin Atlantic A330 as well. She's off to Islamabad. Jess Harrison's at the RVP as well. Oh, you're not blowing away like us. Oh, we're having, having a great day out. And if you are watching on Facebook, feel free to share the stream. That helps out a lot, as well as hit that like button. And if you're watching on YouTube as well, hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. Nice free way to support the channel. And yes, what's touch down is the Turkish Airlines A321 from Dalaman, which is not the usual Istanbul service. Yeah, the audio you can hear in the background is the uh, Aviation Society commentary team that are at the runway visitor park every weekend, providing some great information of the aircraft coming and going at Manchester. Big shout out to the Aviation Society for not only providing that, but supporting airliners live at its fantastic streaming location. 
and a huge shout out to the runway visitor park as well for their continued support with the channel. And it's similar to classic British airliners. We don't make airliners in, in the UK anymore. We just make parts for the European Airbus that's the airplane. But uh, that was when we made airplanes, that was one we've actually built at Hatfield down in Hertfordshire. Definitely uh, some gusts down that end of the runway. Yeah. yeah. Dean Bavister, welcome to Premium Economy, brand new VIP. Cheers, Dean. Bing bong. Thank you for your support and welcome to the VIP club. Yeah, the time is one of those things that really annoys me so much. As I should say, I was booked on a special flight from Manchester to Heathrow. VIP is a great way to support the channel if you are enjoying what you're seeing, guys. Uh, you get loads of benefits uh, as emotes in the chat, discount on merchandise, um, and lots um, more, including access to our Facebook VIP lounge with lots of behind the scenes going on in there, and access to all of our VIP only videos on YouTube as well. So if you're loving Airliners Live, click the dollar symbol and click join, or click the VIP links in the chat from Ninebot to get signed up to become a VIP of the channel. Get a tower badge next to your name as well. Looks like they're going to get the Singapore out next. Now lining up at the start, two, three, right. The A350 900, an amazing aircraft. Brian Booth, thanks very much for the five gifted subs going to Ian Hartley, Annette Pope, Oswin Parrott, Grant Allen, and uh, another name, unfortunately, I definitely won't try and pronounce. <laughs> but thank you very much, yeah. Brian, for gifting five gifted memberships, guys. You've just got one month free VIP from Brian. Let's get some VIP gift emotes in the chat for Brian. Cheers, dude. Brian Bruce, thank you so much. One of our executive club members, but here we go. A350 rolling. And there she goes. Beautiful aircraft. That is the A350. Brian Bruce. Yeah, once again, thank you so much. One of our executive club members always donates, always gives memberships. Absolute legends. And most importantly, always gives us weather updates from Detroit, USA. Yes, thank you very much, Brian. It's very kind. I did try and squeeze you in before the Singapore there, but uh, a massive thanks to you, dude. And uh, Tal Edwards, thanks very much for the 100 stars on Facebook saying enjoying the show today. Keep up the good work. Appreciate that, Tal. Thanks very much for the uh, 100 stars, dude. Yep, and Brandon Dodd with their 899 New Zealand dollars saying hello from New Zealand. Have you guys on the TV and flight radar open? Going nice. full plane nerd. <laughs> hey, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Send us a picture if you're uh, watching the channel. Tag us in it on Instagram and we'll get you added to the story, guys. If you're, uh, if you're watching on a really wonky sound, like a massive projector or something like that, definitely send us a picture so we can get it added. We do love to see how you guys uh, watch your channel here on Airliners Live. Here we go, about to touch down is a 2737-800 from Reus. And Andrew Skulls, no problem at all, mate, with the 179 Super Chat. We really appreciate any support, Andrew. If uh, all 3,000 of you guys gifted 179, that would be a massive amount of support. So never worry about that, Andrew. Thank you very much for supporting the channel, mate. A bit high on the approach there before touching down, but I think it's all good. No messing around. Straight in.
train starting in the chat, I can see. There is, thank you very much, guys. Well, this uh, Virgin Atlantic A330 300 series aircraft to Islamabad departs, and then we'll read out what's going on there. It's kicking off in the chat. Crazy train happening in the chat on YouTube. <laughs> Today is definitely a day where you just get the plane down in the touchdown zone. We're not going for style points today, folks. Yes. Ian Fairburn, thanks for the 100 stars on Facebook. Just reading that out before it disappears. Thank you very much, dude. Cheers, Ian. The base from that aircraft is insane. A huge train in the chat though, I think Loopy just said in the chat, one pound train anyone? And then he continued with a one pound super chat. And then I was followed by Ronnie Middlehurst and Paul Karu, uh, Robert Maynard, O1 Tasker 01, Will P, Carl Crawford, Chris Luby all send it in at one pound. Super chats. Appreciate it, guys. That's huge. They all really add up when you do things like this, and it's yeah, really, they really do. Like I say, there's three thousand people in the chat. So imagine if everyone would give a quid, and then that would be uh, that'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, and then Matt Smith with a one pound seventy nine. I don't know why he said that a super chat as well, but Matt Smith. Jill Hinkley, thank you very much for your uh, 100 stars on Facebook as well. Matt's saying he's starting the train from the mound with his £1.79, is he? You oh, there he is. He's up on the mound, is there he? There he is, my guy. Hold, hey, hold on. He, he's a bit closer this time than he was on Friday. He's, he's hiding, he's hiding. Is that him on the block, is it? Yeah, yeah I can see him. I'm trying not to get other people in. There he is, there's my guy. Hey, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Matty Boysman. I've got an aircraft about to touch down as well. We got it, we got it. You got Mod it. Matt, guys. Big Mod shout Matt. out. Lots of love to Mod Matt. Matt Reveal. Ah, he's, been, he's been on the stream many times, Matt. Um, Kyvin with a £1.79 as well. Terry Edwards with a £1.79. Robin Giles with a £1. And Ray, Wayne Cockwell with a £1 as well. Cheers, guys. And a bunch more as well. <laughs> we'll read them out after this aircraft uh, vacates. It's a Pegasus A320 Neo from um, Antalya this time. Loads of people getting on board this crazy uh, train on, on the YouTube chat at the moment. Just what's going on. It's a good job we don't have alerts on. If you go mad right now, would. would. If you're doing everyone's head in. Oh my gosh. It's going to take a while to read out all these names. Look at you guys going crazy in the chat, sending in these small but very. Uh, effective donations when these crazy trains happen. Thank you so much. Reg on this is Tango Charlie, November Charlie Delta. It's an A320 from Antalya, which is a 1600 mile or nautical mile flight from the south of Turkey. slow <laughs> taxi here. It's Pegasus stopping for a photo op. Yeah, it's come to a standstill completely. It's like me in traffic this morning. There's a riot there heading back to Gothenburg, lined up and ready to go on 2-3 right. And I think about... Uh, we might get a go around here. Is that it? Is that right behind you? Oh, plenty of time. Yeah, I'll make time, okay. Oh, yeah, it's already going. I couldn't see if that right now was moving yet. It looked like it was still waiting. Oh, I love this tripod. <laughs> This makes our life so much easier. Uh, Russell with a 50 stars on Facebook saying, love her shows, uh, miss loads, keep up the good work. Cheers, um, Russell. Watching from uh, up the three motorway from Leeds. 
not sure what the three moves away is, but appreciate it, Russell. And uh, Jill with 100 stars on Facebook as well. Now let's tackle this uh, huge <laughs> trade on uh, YouTube. I was going to wait till this uh, Pegasus moves, but I don't want to be waiting all day. <laughs> uh, where did we get up to? Uh, Ian Meadows with a one pound super chat. Brian Bruce, executive club member with a one US dollar. Beastie Lucifer with a one pound. Jester Mike, another mod with a two pound this time, saying, Oh, welcome. Uh, warm welcome to all the new gifted members today. Honestly, welcome, welcome, everyone. Lee Davies, there he is, the OG with a one pound. Amanda White with a one pound. One pound 79 coming from Jason Evans with a thumbs up. One pound 79 from uh, uh, McKaken, is that how you pronounce that? Uh, Jillian with a one pound. Uh, Love Marmite, oh, that's controversial. With a one pound super chat. Mark Green, there he is, another OG, one pound 79 super chat. Rika with a two months of premium economy saying I had to renew my gifted membership yesterday. Well, there you go. Welcome, Rika, to. Uh, Cheers for renewing that. Yeah, becoming a full uh, business, uh, sorry, premium economy member. Maybe enjoy your stay. Joanna Smith with a one pound 79 super chat. Jeff. H with a one pound super chat. Look what you've done, Loopy. <laughs> Loopy started this. Uh, Paul Brooks with a one pound super chat. Ali Cat with a one pound super chat. Andrew Horworth with a ten pound super chat. Saying all aboard the long. <laughs> Cheers, Andrew. Uh, good Carl, good Carla Black with a one pound super chat. Plane spotting Ringway. There he is at a four months. So, business class saying thanks for the great coverage today, guys. Really enjoyed it. Cheers, uh, Plane spotting Ringway for the four months. of business class. Mike Richards with a one pound 79 super chat with no message. Joining our train, then Sid Squad, our good friends over in Sydney, Australia, uh, rejoining Premium Economy with the Red Tower Badge. Laura Maloney with a one pound super chat. Stephen Merchant, the Stephen Merchant, with a two pound super chat. Saying lovely Sunday live to make my day. Robert Maynard, here he is again with a 99 cent super chat. Thorny not to Epic Gaming with a one US dollar super chat. Sharon with a three months of premium economy saying hi guys, thank you for the live stream. And that is up to date. <laughs> Are we done? That was done. A bit of a rap, rap god there, wasn't it? Got me twice. It's a good job this Ryanair uh, used a lot of runway there. Another easy jackpot touchdown as well. In from Prague. In fact, there's Ryanair's in from Prague as well. Let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for that easy jet. Captain, uh, absolutely greasing that. Uh, Amazing. Uh, two, three, right. Giving that tail a bit of a kick as well. Straighten that nose up. You will notice a bit of bouncing in the camera when we're zooming in and out today, guys. That's simply just the wind just whacking the lens. Uh, so apologies for that. But uh, really nothing we can do in today's conditions, I'm afraid. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show today, Sid Squad. With your guys got a massive stream. sign I could hold up, says 10 out of 10. So they know we approve. Yeah. Like I said, this A320 Neo is in from Prague. And of course, the to the mainland airline itself, Ryan Eyre, the Tassi Eyesport Islander Air, and to the Republic of Ireland. Away from the guys up front there as well. We have one slight difference in the next Ryan Eyre, also on land air, the Austrian Air Lounge, originally created way back when by Nicky Lauder, the racing driver. That is actually now Maltese registered. And they operate 80-20s rather than the standard 27 that uh, Ryanair uses. So it's quite a, a mixed operation. So you if I did that landing, uh, I put my cap on sideways, I put my seat to full recline as I go past the RVP. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah boys, <laughs> what are you thinking of that? Get your sunnies on. <laughs> get the sunnies, get the glancing out the window. <laughs> yeah, arm out the window. <laughs> right, I'm like, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Joanna Smith saying, um, don't mind the wind, it keeps it real and feels like you're there. Exactly, Joanna. And also, like like we said earlier, there's literally no way we could uh, dampen the wind noise anymore. It's, it's We've got a pretty heavy-duty windsock on the, uh, on the, on the mic. Um, 
Michael Mills with a five pound super chat saying always good watching these live streams. Well, thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Thank you for the five pound super chat. And also Nick Parker with a one pound seventy nine super chat, but no message. Apparently we're nearly at seventy two thousand subs today. Ooh, let's go. We are on the long windy road to a hundred thousand. If uh, you are not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you doing, guys? What are you doing? Help us hit one hundred thousand subscribers. We need to do something special for that. I don't know what yet, but there will be something special that happens on that day. Yes, uh, I agree. I'm not sure what, but we will see. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do something. It's been crazy. I reckon what we'll do, what we'll do is, obviously we'll have a stream on the day, and maybe we'll have a few giveaways or something like that, guys, yeah, yeah. On, uh, on that stream. A few giveaways for you guys. Just turning on two final approaches, a EasyJet A320 from Geneva. There's a lot of aircraft pinging up on the ground here in Manchester, including an Aer Lingus UK A330-300 heading off to Orlando, Florida. The Sun Express 737-800 is still pinging. There is a Logan Air ATR-72 currently being pushed back. And taxiing out is an Air France uh, Hop Embraer 190 heading back to Charles de Gaulle. So that'll be most likely the next departure that we see live on your Super Sunday show here at Manchester Airport with Airliners Live. Nick Parker, thank you, mate. Saying great work, lads. Synth Squad, great to see you in the chat, boys. Hope you're doing well. Sharon uh, Cookson saying, uh, well, we're just a one pound super chat. Thank you, Sharon. If you uh, an Australian viewer of ours, make sure you check out Sid Squad. Or if, if you're any of our viewers uh, and you fancy staying up late, <laughs> go and check them out, guys. Some awesome content over there from uh, Sydney. And, yeah. Uh, great lads as well. Great banter on their stream. And uh, yeah, love the show. Love the show. Yeah, Sydney is definitely an airport I'd love to visit one day. Um, as well as uh, for me, Melbourne as well looks amazing. Have you, uh, Sid Squad? Have you ever been to Melbourne Airport? Like, what? What's it like? Do you like? Because over here in the UK, you can just like drive to any island on the on, on Great Britain, you know. But any airport? Any? What did I say? Any, any island. island? Oh, any island. Any <laughs> with a certain kind of car, you can. Um, any airport. But. Um, Obviously, Australia, it's a big place. You probably have to fly between them, right? It's like um, we obviously have our Thursday shows from Vancouver, Canada. And uh, they have a uh, multiple times daily service with Air Canada from um, Vancouver to Toronto. And I believe it runs literally every hour. It's that busy, that route. And every movement is pretty much a wide body. They're like 777s and A330s, I think they use using that route. About 150 times, it's like a less busy but a pretty version of Sydney Airport. Darren on Facebook wants a massive shout out to Harrison Duffy, who's 18 months old and already glued to the TV watching airliners live. I wonder, uh, I wonder how long it'll take him before he starts shouting A380. Oh yes, when he sees it. <laughs> Big shout out, guys! Glad you're enjoying the show. Yep. Hope we're providing some good entertainment today for you guys here in the very windy conditions of Manchester Airport on your Super Sunday. It's about a one hour ten flight from Melbourne to Sydney. Well, that's all right, Sid Squad, because I mean, if, if we were to visit, we could actually just do the two in the same trip then. It's pretty simple. Melbourne, Sydney is called the Milk Run. <laughs> okay. Andy should change his name to Gulliver. He likes his travels. <laughs> hey, I do like traveling. I'm looking at doing another UK airport. I, I mentioned it on Friday um, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. One uh, down south, not uh, Heathrow. You guys know my thoughts about Heathrow Airport. Uh, Tracy Ann Smith tuning in from Texas Gulf Coast. Very mm. warm welcome to you. Hope you're doing well. That's warm over there. Russell Tinker with the 50 stars on uh, Facebook saying uh, the three motorways, the M56, the M60 and the M62 uh, and the M621. I've never heard of that uh, here in Leeds. 
Uh, got lost tight, uh, last time I ended up in Didsbury, took the wrong turn. Yeah. Steve Leon mentioned about the tours that we have. Oh, I've got uh, to short Prime's Twitch crew if you're watching. And actually, uh, originally we only had short tours available. Uh, we've just had uh, four places. If you are enjoying the show, don't forget to click the thumbs up. It really does help us out on YouTube. It's, it takes 10 seconds, completely free to do. Let's see if we can do 2,000 likes today, guys. I'm sure we can. What's the view account now on the uh, platforms? And Maka Khan with a £1.79 super chat saying it's Maka Khan, uh, not my Cape Khan. <laughs> you know what? Come to I think thought it Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan. <laughs> come to think of it, you've, I think I've actually pronounced that right in the past, and this time I got it wrong, so well done to me. <laughs> Apologies for getting your name wrong, but thank you for the uh, super chat. And this uh, EasyJ320 um, on short final now. 3.6 thousand watching on YouTube. Wow, welcome everyone. Stansted now. Stansted looked okay, like it looks like he had some cool movements there. I'm sure you really enjoy it, but it was a concord. Uh, so you'll get one hour on concord and uh, get an in-depth uh, uh, idea as to what the aircraft is Cheers, Plains Point Channel. Appreciate it, dude. And, uh, it, it's all worth having Thanks for getting so involved on our Instagram as well. I always see you commenting, sharing our stories as well. That's true. Someone needs to gift you a membership. <laughs> Bear in mind, ladies and gents, um, membership gifting is in beta. Um, one of the uh, caveats of that is if you want to receive a free membership from someone who's been gener generous enough to gift them, you have to have hit the opt-in button in the chat um, to, to opt in to receive gifted memberships, which give you a free uh, month of uh, VIP membership to Airliners Live. Um, but if you've not seen the opt-in button yet, you might have to wait for it. So if you stick around, uh, and then if someone is generous enough to gift memberships again, then uh, you may receive one. Cheers for that, G Power. Appreciate it, mate. Also, a super chat from Brian Bruce. I'll read that out in a moment. Cheers, Brian. Appreciate it. So we've got the Kuwait next to arrive as well. Okay, 20 from Geneva. Rolling down the runway at the moment is the Air France hop off to uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle. Like I said, the next arrival is the Kuwait flight 113 from Kuwait City up to Manchester Airport, flying the A320neo uh, today. Uh, I believe in July there's a certain date when they're going to switch over to just using the A330-200 uh, series aircraft yes. on that route, um, which hopefully we can see more of that retro uh, special as well. Yeah, I nice. love that. Can't wait to get a picture of that. Yeah. Um, this is actually the second longest uh, A320neo route in the world. Um, I don't even know if the, other, the number one is flying at the moment. It is actually a Russian, uh, I think it's an Aeroflot um, route. That is number one. But this is the second longest day uh, flight in the world. It takes about six and a half hours or almost seven hours to go uh, 2,600 Sorry, 2,600 nautical miles. So yeah, just under seven hours it takes over from Kuwait up to Manchester. Brian Bruce with a 10 US dollar super chat saying my favorite livery in Manchester is Logan Air. Oh my gosh, Logan Air is a, it's a nice livery. I do agree. Definitely a favorite of the uh, viewers of the channel. Yeah, sure. shortbread airlines. Thank you very much for the support, Brian, today. 
Thank you. 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 Thank She is the beautiful aircraft that is the Q8 A320 Neo. Looks like she's going to slow down in time to make the exit. And Robert Maynard, about a 10 more wow, <laughs> gifted Robert. Airliners Live memberships. You did give it like 20 earlier on. Wow. Thank you so much, Robert. Huge support on today's show. Yep. Thank you so much, Robert. 10 gifted memberships all at once. Going to Julie Wright, off to Oz, Raina Taylor, Kieran Blake, Peanut Butter, Jeff H. Um, Sean, Clutchy, Sonia Pickering, Lucas Ooge, all receiving them um, gifted memberships there from Robert. Appreciate it, Robert. Thanks very much, Robert. And I saw a message in the chat just saying, how did he work at the random? Yes, so they get gifted to random active viewers in the chat, guys. So yes. just keep yourself nice and active. If you see that opt-in button, make sure you click opt-in and you may receive a membership. I'm one of our very generous members here on Airliners Live. We've got three wide-body aircraft on the taxi out, three heavies. We've got this Aer Lingus A330 300 series aircraft off to Orlando. Um, just behind her is the Gulf Air 787-9 Dreamliner to Bahrain. And then behind that is a repositioning flight of a 2E 787-H Dreamliner heading off to London Gatwick. And here we go, Brian Bruce's favourite livery. Logan Air ATR-72 just departing for Isle of Man. And Billy Dowd is signing up for Premium Economy, brand new VIP. Cheers, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Appreciate that. Yeah, if you have been gifted a membership, kind of thank you in the chat, get involved in the community. And if you really enjoy it, consider continuing that uh, when it expires. Yeah, Billy Dowd saying, uh, uh, you two watch the other channel from Heathrow, but yours is great and local to me from Ellesmere Port. Hey, Billy, I, I only moved out of Ellesmere Port a few months ago. David Binks, welcome to Premium Economy, brand new VIP. Welcome, David. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Taxi now, we've got the Air Lingus A330. Simon and Julie saying, Hi guys, thanks for the live stream. It's become our Sunday routine, helping to clear out the hangovers. <laughs> I see no, no shouting, no shouting. I know, yeah, your voice down. Max down, please. Air Lingus A330, Max down. <laughs> no, no loud planes. Oh, wait. The only difference from spot between the mainline Air Lingus and the Air Lingus UK is the registration. And Cliff Elson gifted five VIP memberships on YouTube. Thank you very much, Cliff. That's very kind of you, mate. And they have gone to Blade at 929 and Mike Nicholson. Uh, Logan, there you go, dude. You got one, mate. I saw you message a minute ago. Simon and Julie just got one as well. No hey, and uh, Kigo. Nice one. Thank you very much, Cliff. You just gifted uh, five memberships in the channel, and uh, what a surprise the people who they went to were just talking there. That's nuts. Enjoy those guys, and uh, make sure you say thanks to Cliff in the chat for gifting those. What a great community we've got here on the channel. And just going over the moors at the moment, um, not on the approach quite yet, but is the um, the king of the skies, the Emirates A380. Uh, not far at all from Manchester Airport, be arriving in just over 10 minutes. The largest passenger aircraft in the world, the, em the Airbus A380-800. Alpha 6 EEE -E -E on the reg today. Let's get some gifty uh, emotes in the chat there for, for Cliff and uh, Robert again, guys, for gifting memberships. Yeah. A couple of people in the chat saying uh, thank you. 
Who's not got their phone on silence? It's because the microphone's in the hall. Yeah. 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 Uh, that was a little jingle. That's also demonetized. Lee Brace, well, saying Ellesmere Port is a very odd place. Yeah, Lee, I only moved out a few months ago. And um, just before I moved out, they had that um, fire, I didn't know, spec, which is one of the, uh, the chemical, I believe, uh, oil treatment plants that they have there in Ellesmere Port. Um, and they had a big fire there. <laughs> and all I could hear was fire alarms all across Ellesmere Port. And it was terrifying. And they've got some, um, I think it's big tanks of, is it nitroglycerin they have? there, which um, obviously if that catches fire, that's uh, a bit scary. Uh, my mother actually works for them. She was giving me updates about it. She was like, yeah, they're not letting us leave because there's a fire, and part of the fire drill exercise is you've got to stay on site so they know where everyone is. It's like, I ain't got no. <laughs> what? I'd, I'd want to just run home if it was me. Like, uh, Phyllis, you need to be watching on YouTube Phyllis Thomason. So search for Airliners Live on YouTube and hit subscribe and watch a live stream over there that's where you've got the chance to get a free membership yes almost 4,000 viewers on YouTube Ooh. nice stick around everyone there she goes rocketing out of Manchester airport with them Trent 700 engines Rolls Royce of course is the uh, Aer Lingus A330 300 based here at Manchester Airport flying that long flight over to Orlando Florida I'm sure many dreams will be made over there they make a great sound and they, they have a lot of bass to them there's been sometimes you'll hear um, car alarms going off here at the runway visitor park when the A3 sorry when the yeah the A330 is the part that's funny they're probably the most bassy of all the uh, the airliners I'd say up there with the 777s hey Knott's County great to have you with us mate first time on Twitch in ages nice nice dude I watch Twitch nearly every day wow always on it Oh, that one had CFMs on, did it? That's probably why them ones in particular are so loud. And they sound. There's a distinct difference between them and the um, the Rolls Royce engines that are on the um, Virgin Atlantic. We have Qatar Airways out to Del Mar three times a day, generally using a uh, triple seven of their room mark. Casey, you put it in That's right, and uh, touching down from uh, the short flight in from Dublin. Flight at 5.54. And it took 37 minutes to get here from Dublin Airport. The aircraft's running at 9 minutes late. It's not too bad. This is we're hit by another huge cluster of wind. Stay tuned, everyone. We got the Emirates A380. Going to touch down soon. It's uh, about to intercept the base leg, which means it's about seven minutes, six minutes away from touchdown. It's just uh, following a couple of aircraft in including uh, another Logan Air ATR. This one's from Aberdeen, who is currently on the final approach. And about to turn on to final approach is a, another Ryanair in from Berlin, which is a service we see plenty of here on uh, Airliners Live. But next to the part is another heavy aircraft. It's a Gulf Air 787-9 Dreamliner heading back to her home base in Bahrain. John V, thank you very much for the 99 starts, dude. Glad you enjoying the show, John. Thank you, thank you. Chris Luby with a £3.80 super chat. With some of our wonderful emotes in the chat. Cheers, Chris. I appreciate that. Thank you earlier on, Chris, for the gifted memberships. Uh, membership gifting only works on laptops and PCs at the moment, ladies and gents. So if you are looking to gift memberships and you don't have access to either one of them, then uh, I'm afraid there's no way to do it. I mean, there, there is ways you can use um, your browser and go into desktop mode, but that's yeah, way more complicated. Than as soon as the beta's finished, um, it'll be coming to mobile as well. Thank you. 
Brother, please let's see what's on the street. Where is Bahrain? It's in the Middle East. It's near um, Kuwait and Qatar, uh, and also Saudi Arabia, and not far from United Arab Emirates, which obviously, as the name entails, is where the Emirates A380 has come from today, du the city of Dubai. Has anyone in the chat ever been to Dubai, by the way? It's somewhere where I've always been very curious about visiting. And if you have been, let us know what you thought of it, if you loved it. If there's anything in particular that you liked about it, let us know. Because obviously the Emirates A380 is just such a spectacle here at Manchester. It's been a spectacle for many, many, many years when Emirates have been flying that flight from Dubai to Manchester. Uh, it's, you know, it's made many special occasions here. And it's always a big uh, highlight of um, everyone's day when they're down spotting at Manchester. Uh, and I think it would be amazing to maybe one day, it's quite pricey, but you know, you get what you pay for, to fly with them and maybe do a, uh, a trip report of the flight on board the Emirates A380 uh, from Manchester with Airliners Live. So uh, just having there for the people on the fighter cabin at all, which has been uh, conducted by all my ex-colleagues in that cabin. Have you seen Alex Nadler's? I don't know if you've you read that out, have you? Uh, not yet, no. Uh, I, I, I don't know what that currency is though, but it's an Israeli currency. I, I don't even know what, what do they use in Israel. I'm going to quickly check that. A shekel, Israeli shekel, that's what it is. is it? I've never heard of that. Before. I know, I've never heard of that. I've never actually uh, looked into it before. But with a 20 Israeli shekel, uh, saying a big, sh uh, big Sunday shalom to the guys and everyone in the chat. Proud to be part of such a warm community. Lots of love from Israel. Hey, shalom to you, mate, as well. Great to see you. Cheers, Alex. Appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. Here we go. Blurry pop. Yeah, there's a few things I'm slowly ticking off my bucket list, getting around to it. Um, one of them was visiting Skiathos uh, National Island Airport, which is a, 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 an experience that every one in aviation should have. It is like the St. Martin of Europe. It is probably the closest you can get to aviation, commercial aviation action. Maybe in the world it is insane, Skiathos. I'm sure you all know about it. Uh, we uploaded our 4K edit of our trip down there last week, just the other day. That's on our YouTube page now. I'd highly recommend checking that out, especially if you're not familiar with what Skiathos is all about. It was insane. Huge jet blasters just stand behind the aircraft as they, you know, take off. You've obviously got the arrivals as well as they, you stand right underneath them just moments before they touch down. And we got quite lucky in catching um, two Sun Class A321s as well as a Wizard A321neo with Pratt & Whitney engines loaded. But here we go, the Emirates A380 now in view. Let's get that King of Oats spammed in the chat for the King of the Skies. Yeah. <laughs> 
rock and science, so we're going to do this place. Just have a look at the two inboard engines, the two the two outboard engines, so it's one of the closest to these lines on the inboard, the outboard, and the third to right. And also to the gap, the engine closest to the two lines, and the slow gap, and the engine just closest to one. The gap is the reverse to up, up to slow the aircraft down, although the gap has to move it, designed to have to start with the brake. It's always usually the reverse to up, it's a lot more efficient. The reason why there's no reverse thrust on the outside engine is because the aircraft is so large, the wind fan is so large, you can see the beautiful curve of the wind. The pilot's doing the such a good job it means that the aircraft getting the Emirates A380 down or 23 right in such windy conditions. The gusting here at Manchester Airport is so high today, which is making uh, the arriving traffic just, well, a nightmare to get down. But some awesome examples of uh, top-notch piloting happening today on uh, Airliners Live here at Manchester Airport. Airport. We are just, uh, let's see, about 59 subscribers away on YouTube from 72k. So ladies and gents, if you're new to Airliners Live and you're watching on either YouTube or even on Facebook or Switch, give us a subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already. We might be able to hit that now. We'll uh, give a switch of view if you want once this goes, please. Yeah, okay, I need to just quickly take a moment, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do that. No just give me a moment. BRB. Ah. The main Istanbul line, we saw a Pegasus Airlines flight. For Turkish Airways, the, uh, just uh, lining up on the runway. We'll get that out next. I always like to mention that, and I always like to ask the question if there is any surface people in the park, because I've no idea whether the life of them say so the adoption is correct or not. So if we do have one, please come and knock on the door and tell me either that they're correct or correctly, so I can do that process going forward. And
had a majority of uh, each jet flights here at 1820. We have a reasonable number of 1890s, but it has been a very good one. Now we're going to survive all of them. Let's do a quick cameraman uh, change. I'll just stop by for that. Family. Talking about 1819, the one on the runway just about to uh, look safe now is the Lufthansa 943 service back to Frankfurt. That we saw off. Nice and straightforward, stand by guys, quick change over, hold on. By the Pegasus 820 Neo, which as I mentioned before, the inbound service from Sophia Stockton in Istanbul. Now you might notice the difference in noise between the AC-19 and the AC-21 Neo. That's because the AC-19 has an older version of the engine. Uh, Neo, the NEO, that's become some new engine option. Now if you hear earlier on, you'll have heard the mention of that uh, there are two options now. So they've actually got a little bit complicated. Because originally when the Neo was first brought out, it was the new engine option and the, um, the engines on the current uh, craft were called the current engine up for the CEO. However, time has gone on quite considerably now, uh, and the new engine One, two, up hello, I am on the camera, the woo! current engine up, since we're not doing any of the current engine up anymore, so you see how it gets very complicated. So actually, it's just, uh, the, nowadays, uh, the... Uh, the uh, right, let's give you a moment, ladies and gentlemen, just going to grab the chat. I'll tell you a little bit more about new engines later. So just for a change over here, we've seen uh, a video of the front left. Mark on the 5890, it's very very open. Had it cut out of the, the flap on the top of the commentary box, since uh, we started there. But uh, it is quite windy up there. So uh, the change over there, so we are following the... Uh, uh, the, the video feed is available on YouTube and on Facebook. Okay, right, we are settled back in. Nice. I am too. Let's, uh, let's get me command station <laughs> settled. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it is windy, isn't it? <laughs> Just a bit. I can confirm. It is windy. Put my eyeballs back in now. It's probably uh, gusty is the thing about it. Yeah. It's not consistent at all. Cheers, Alex. Thank you, mate. I'm glad you enjoyed the channel. The gear not coming in on that tap air Portugal there, you see that? Oh yeah. He's getting blown around a lot as well. Wow, what is going on? <laughs> Much more fuel efficient than the old ones. I put and me you know, from the cap back on now, can't I? Yeah, still not on the aircraft. Just landing now. They have what are called sharpets. That doesn't look good. Winglet, they have a large upturned winglet on the end of the wing. Now the combination of those two items, the new engine and oh, the well, uh, sharpets. We'll certainly keep an eye on that. People could uh, watch hair on flight radar, 24 maybe. Fuel, now, we all know how much, uh, if everything's alright with the aircraft, it might just be that the uh, sometimes the brakes are hot, having stopped the uh, wheels. It's so coming back into the uh, bay there. The windows themselves, about four to five percent, because you can actually find aircraft which have the output, the windows, but that do not actually. Uh, An easy jet just vacating in front of us is uh, Infant Park. And on the taxi out we have the Virgin Atlantic. And uh, not very much data down there, I'll be honest. Yeah, shall we off to uh, Orlando? But yes, that's our AP51000. Let's pan over and catch her. There she is. Beautiful aircraft. That is the Virgin Atlantic A380. 
a 15. It's so weird how I have perfect phone signal on top of the tower, but I come down on it because I have nothing. You got no signal? No. Just connect to the, uh, I'm just having a look for the, uh, if you haven't got the details, I can send you them. Yeah, can you send me them? Yeah, I don't know how are you going to copy this. I can just type it in. Yeah, you can figure it out, I'm sure. Ladies and gents, you're tuned in to the Airliners Live Super Sunday show here live from Manchester Airport on this incredibly windy Sunday. We are catching the taxiing out of the Virgin Atlantic A350 at the moment. Don't forget, you can the heavy uh, aircraft. get involved with the Coventry Tower. If you want to have a shout out to anybody or want to ask them a question of an aviation related to nature, that would be uh, better. Why was it not retracting the gear? I'm not sure. Sometimes I, uh, they wait for the. Um, it, has, it has an automatic system where it can't retract the gear until the, uh, the brakes have cooled down. Sometimes that is the issue. But that aircraft has passed uh, 10,000 feet now, so I assume it's all good. Strange one. Yeah, I think the tap was okay. I think it was just there. Uh, the brakes were a bit hot. Is um, side of the uh, Concord hangar, so towards the uh, children's play area, you can also see uh, ice cream parlour as well there, which we can still get into. Why would you use the brakes on takeoff? The only thing I could think is um, when the aircraft takes off, obviously the wheels have to stop, you know, to put them back into the uh, the belly of the aircraft, so um, they do have um, a bit of braking to do that. It's very standard. It's like your drink. The bottle of iced tea is just yeeted down the stairs. Oh, right, it's rip. <laughs> it was my drink. <laughs> Got it back on. I didn't realise it would blow around inside there, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, they also use the brakes when taxiing as well. And then the situation is that the holder of the pass must be present in the car. You can uh, fill the car up to the maximum legal permitted capacity. And you, can you also see the um, when the aircraft the take off, the sometimes you'll see the brakes in use. The and it closes, uh, That's a bit of a dirt and things can come off them and, uh, as the aircraft is uh, climbing out. Some people think it comes from the engines. Sometimes it does, but you often see it. Dust. Yeah. Also on the taxi out, we have uh, the 2E787 Dreamliner uh, to Cancun. That's following the Sun Express that's uh, heading back to Antalya. That's been pinging for about two hours now. So, yeah. I think it looks like it doesn't it look like it moved and then went back to stand or something. It's strange. It's strange. And uh, the Virgin Atlantic just uh, holding short down at Juliet 1. He's waiting for Ryanair to come in from Tenerife. Let's see if we can spot that, shall we? I can't see that at the moment. No sign of her just yet. Uh, sorry, it's coming in from Treviso. Looks like the uh, Virgin Atlantic is just going to go straight onto the runway. There's enough time. And I can see the Sun Express now taxiing out. Finally. Fearless lady. The name on this aircraft. Fearless to fly in these conditions. 
Oh, they're getting the Virgin Atlantic out. Taxi uh, uh, is a Sonic Express 737 on its way out to Antarctica. And it's quite delayed, uh, I mentioned this quite early on in the commentary that it was getting ready for departure. It must have had a problem. Uh, it said that departure was five past ten this morning. And clearly that's uh, two hours ago now. The Virgin Atlantic case is 51,000. It's quite a bit longer than the 900 on the Singapore that we saw earlier on. No, I've just so started in a trip today of 3,681 nautical miles to Orlando. Crabby gets that crosswind there. Is on its way out to Cancun. It's actually operated by Tui Nord, and Tui again is another organisation that has different um, subsidiaries, shall we say. It's actually a German based airline, you go to Tui Nord, and um, there is uh, one based in Belgium, I forget exactly what the correct terminology for that one is. And there's also, of course, the UK based one and the German based one. a little bit more about uh, Tui in the UK. A little bit later on when we get to the relevant aircraft landing instructions. There's the Ryan S737. It's like a direct crosswind as well. Yeah, it is. They're fighting with. I'm surprised uh, they're getting it down so smoothly, to be honest. What the time I was up there is uh, they were just greasing it the whole yeah. way. And uh, Michael K saying super picture quality lads watching this on my 55 inch smart TV. Well there you go Michael, glad you're enjoying it mate. There's a flex. Don't forget to send us a picture of how you're watching the channel today. Tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see it guys. And if you're watching on Twitch TV, if you see anything interesting make sure you clip it, give it a title and uh, once a month we make a highlight reel from the clips you guys make on Twitch, which can be watched on our YouTube channel. Yep, this is our last Sunday of the year, of the month. Air Canada A330 is 20 minutes out, cheers Lee. Wow, that's late. Yes, apparently that's coming in at the time it's supposed to be going out. Wow. And uh, then they took the Trident to the shuttle service with uh, all, all around England, in fact, in Scotland. Tony Parkinson, welcome back for eight months, uh, executive uh, club Trident, member. Thank you very much, Tony, saying thanks it's for all the hard work you put in to bringing us these awesome streams. Thank you very much, Tony, and thanks for all your channel support as well, mate. You're a regular supporter of the channel for us. Appreciate it, Tony. And this Ryanair's in from Ibiza.
just cause saying love in the street lads good way to finish off my weekend here in Australia thank you very much Steve glad you're tuning in thank you thank you and uh, Christina Lomas saying uh, your shows are brilliant thank you thank you very much Christina appreciate it and if you're watching on Facebook don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel search for Airliners Live on YouTube we are live streaming there today and that's where you'll find the majority of our viewers if you want to get involved with the community just as on YouTube Alison gifts five VIP memberships thank you very much Alison thank you so much appreciate that they've got to Vernon Collis JD Daniel Mitchell Becky Zeb and Infinity Gojo have all been gifted memberships there by Alison thank you very much Alison Thank you so much, Alison. It's really kind of you. The aircraft rolling is uh, the Sun Express heading back to Antalya. 11 year old 737. Cheers, Plays Point Channel. And Michael says I'll miss the next week's show as I'm off to Vegas. Oh yeah. Very nice, Michael. We have a great trip, mate. And apparently we have just hit 72k subs. Nice. Huge. Rolling on that train track to 100k, guys. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Can we get some champagne emotes in the chat? 72,000 subscribers on YouTube. Our 787 to Cancun is uh, lined up on the runway, ready to depart. Hundred and fifty K subs by Christmas. I don't think so actually, but that'd be pretty crazy if it was. Yeah. Uh, we're looking to hit a hundred K September, October, we think. Looking at the current trend. Which is unbelievable considering we're the, we're in our first year of full time as well. to your generous support guys myself and Andy have been full time on Airliners Live since November last year and uh, the channel's just gone from strength to strength since, we, since we've been able to put all of our time and effort into it so a massive thank you to all of our VIPs and everyone who supports us regularly or everyone who just tunes in regularly as well to the channel yes it's massively appreciated we've really uh, been uh, through the the bad times here at Manchester Airport in the last two years, you know. This uh, ATR, I think it's a low, um, Air Lingus, I think. It's like, yeah, it is. Just coming in from Dublin. It's good to see Manchester Airport getting so busy again, though. It's been a long time coming. No worries, Maura. Glad you're enjoying the show. Blurry Plops. ATR. Rich saying, uh, I reckon the afternoon show is the key to the 100k. Yeah, I can't wait for Wednesday. Potentially, yes. I really cannot wait for Wednesday. Yeah, great, great shows on Wednesday evenings. Thank you, Chris Coleman. Glad you're enjoying the show, mate. Really appreciate it, Chris. Yeah, we're, uh, we very much like to promote a, uh, nice relaxed atmosphere for our streams a very sort of northern atmosphere i would say nice very chatty and very relaxed and um, yeah that's what we bring you here on airlines live Really. I wish, dude. <laughs> yeah. Top of the morning 
against you as well, Andy C. KLM 737-700 Taking off there 10 year old aircraft from August 2011 It's heading back to uh, Amsterdam uh, No, we've not had any go-arounds during today's show, no No, miraculously But some really good examples of uh, top-notch piloting today Yeah Because uh, a lot of these gusts are like literally a direct crosswind Cheers, thanks very much Dan, a big welcome to Sun Jacob as well, who's enjoying the stream in Wigan, got us on the big telly, hey up Jacob. Tell you what, these Embraer 145s do get blown around a lot, but that one, look how smooth the touchdown was considering that crosswind. Wreaking havoc on the aircraft just before touchdown. Nice, Riley. Hope you have a good trip. The Logan Air Ranger is on for five just for taking the runway and stuff it over to the Strava going for their actually coming from the nest in North East Scotland. Okay, Logan Air Ranger is on for four five just for taking Marks for the pilots in control of this aircraft. Top, top marks. I think there's an easy jet to the start, a 2 3 right at the moment. Oh, nice, Trevor. That's awesome, mate, saying I've actually been inside the control tower at Manchester Airport. My uncle was the chief sector controller there. That's awesome, mate. That is cool. Nice one. Very jealous. But they did it once, once they had a, a tailwind and they managed to do it within uh, about 57 seconds. It's in the Guinness Book of Records. And the EasyJet rolling now is on the way to Jersey. Already up. Wow. Very early rotation from the Neo. And one easy jet to another, we got another one taxiing out already. Our Air Canada is just five minutes away now on uh, on its arrival into us. 22-year-old A330 from June 2000. And that will most likely be our next arrival here on Airliners Live. So a little bit of break in the arrivals for the next five minutes or so. What makes an aircraft a Neo? It's the newer version of the... Uh, um, A320s with uh, newer engines, so uh, improved engine configuration. Yep. So um, they they have two options on the A320 Neo um, to choose from. There's two different engines they can pick from. There's the um, CF um, Leap 1A engines that uh, we see, for example, on the EasyJets and many airlines here at Manchester. And then there's uh, Pratt and Whitney. 1100 G engines as well and the main differentiation from a visual point of view is they're much bigger on the Neos 
The aircraft themselves, I think, are the same uh, size uh, in terms of like the body. Cheers, Karen. I hope you're feeling better and glad you're enjoying the shows. Amy Rose saying, watching on the TV, and even when the screen is large, the quality is still outstanding. That's what we'd like to hear. And we're uh, not standing still. We are looking at investments um, to improve the quality of the stream into next year. Uh, not something that will be in place for this year, but for next year we are looking uh, already at our next upgrades to continue improving, guys. So uh, don't worry about that. We don't stand still here on Airliners Live. Yes. Yeah, the next upgrade will be pretty huge and yeah, only better than it is now. But we're super happy with how it is now. The, the audio, obviously right now it's super windy, so obviously that's picking up a lot on the audio. The audio, the uh, microphones we use for our voices, the camera as well as the encoder that we use to send the video signal up, all really, really good. I love the new encoder. Yeah, and also recently we bought a new fluid head for the tripod, which we used to have a fluid head. Uh, this is a, a newer version, and uh, oh, it's not really old. <laughs> I like the other one. It's not rusty and uh, battered. It's, it's definitely not a Teradek. Don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're okay. We're okay for Teradek. Yeah, they we'll, uh, can keep those. Thanks. That thumbnail you sent me had me laughing so much. The, uh, the YouTube. Well, someone sent it in the VIP lounge. All oh, right. There was a funny joke going around on uh, where we were saying, would we make more money by selling the Teradex secondhand or by making a video and getting ad revenue and donations of us running it over? <laughs> and uh, a lot of you guys seem to want us to run it over, but. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not convinced it will uh, cover <laughs> the cost. It, it'd be more satisfying, though, I guess. It definitely would. <laughs> Personal entertainment. Someone made a, a YouTube thumbnail. It was like uh, we ran a six thousand dollar Teradek over with an A380. <laughs> Maybe not that extravagant. It's funny though. It's funny. Not sure how you could improve the quality, to be honest, guys. It's superb as it is. Uh, there's definitely room for improvement, Paul. Yeah, there's room for improvement in terms of the actual picture fidelity, but yeah. also uh, the resolution would be something in the future we'd look at. Yeah. We are looking at a resolution bump for next year. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I, I see a lot, because I actually recently bought a, a 4K monitor for my PC. It's my first experience owning a 4K di display in my house. Because I don't have a 4K TV or anything like that, and uh, you can notice a difference when a video is in 1080p compared to 4K, for example. Uh, especially when you're watching on a 4K device, you know it looks quite like you can tell like there's a lot of upsampling going on between the two, you know, to make it fit a 4K device. Yeah. So, regardless, we're not talking about it anytime soon, but no, it'd be something for next year. That. Yeah. And yes, NEO does stand for New Engine Option. I didn't mention that, did I? Definitely a uh, cafe day today, I think. Oh, yeah. Got Matt Smith as well, if he's still about. Where's Matty boy? Oh, yeah. Got Matt some lunch as well. I don't think we'll be pushing to 4K, Tony. Straight away, anyway. Yeah. It, because, yeah, at the end of the day, we have a network we'll limitations see, yeah. on yeah. that. But we'll see. Who knows? What the future brings? No, not with the current EE setup. <laughs> no. Hey, that, that their work should have been done by now, shouldn't they? Like they said, it was until Friday. It was, they were doing maintenance work. Yeah, Tony P. There's no real way of us doing that at the moment, dude. Because we're going straight from the encoder straight to destination. If we were to add another step into that, it would um, compress the image twice.
which would reduce the quality of the stream. Yeah, and to do that just for a clock seems a bit silly. So at the moment, we're literally going direct to destination from the encoder. I suppose that is one of the reasons why we're so high quality is because the f the feed you get is literally just straight from the camera. Yeah. Like there's no processing going on. Uh, the audio is like mixed here live with a, a hardware unit that does it. Yeah, it's I a really good quality preamps um, we're using for our microphones as well. Very high quality just to bring you the best audio. Whereas obviously some other streamers, like they do it really well, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but they might use uh, a software to run the video, they might send it to the cloud first where it's processed, things like that. So. Uh, Canada visual now. Nice, we'll get this EasyJet out, wheels up and then we'll flip around to the Air Canada. And I will be on the chat. Let's have a look, shall we? We've got the Air Canada A330 from Toronto next to arrive in these very windy conditions today at Manchester. If you're enjoying the stream today and you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the like button. And same on Facebook too. It really helps us out a lot if you hit that like button. If you haven't already. This Air Canada in the, uh, the banded design, the new Air Canada scheme on the A330 getting blown around a lot into the wind there with a big kick of the rudder to get the aircraft straight just before touching down and there you go she's down reverses are already retracted I just make this exit, I'm not sure. Yeah, she's gonna make the exit here. Get this beautiful head-on shot of the Air Canada A330. I don't think we've got this shot yet. Awesome sound on that A330. Uh, they've gone back to using the wrong Very nice. Uh, to find quite a lot of people. I think it looks quite smart delivery in, uh, in the age of one aircraft. <laughs> the year yeah, is 2040. We'll be watching airliners live in both 8K and 240 FPS. <laughs> Imagine. I think yeah. even in even in 2040, I don't think we'd be at 240 FPS. Yeah. 
Maybe 60. Maybe EE might have fixed their problems by now. Yeah, maybe we could stream from Southside in 24. <laughs> to Dublin. Nice short flight for those guys. This is another Ryanair is about to touch down from Faro. And this one's a 737 MAX 8, brand new aircraft delivered in January 2022. And the MAX handling the winds like a champ. As we're just uh, wrapping into the last 45 minutes hour or so of today's show. Thank you for everyone for tuning in today so far. Hope you're enjoying it. Well, actually, the Ryanair called the Ryanair 7780. Uh, leap one of the engines there. Do not want to be Slowing the aircraft down right, right now. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, mate. It is, in fact, a Max 8 aircraft for all intents and purposes. Yeah, you find that the Maxes do handle uh, winds and turbulence quite well. Hey, Jake. Nice to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well, dude. Sorry if I missed your uh, hello and into the toilet. Has the air Canada landed? Yes, only just. Got a wave there from the captain. And Alex saying, I wouldn't miss this show for anything. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to watch again. Thank you very much, Alex. Cheers, Alex. Here on Airlines Live, we're live again tomorrow evening from 7 pm for uh, flight nights with Feza. The spoilers on the Ryanair still up, actually. See them there above the uh, engine, above the wings. Uh, it's still at idle, probably. Yeah. Wow, great shot of that. They are uh, air brakes that uh, deploy on top of the wing. Um, when the aircraft touches down and also when the aircraft is in mid-air they can deploy them to slow the aircraft down what does Fezza call it the lever of shame <laughs> Geneva lever oh yeah Geneva lever yeah. is that because you need it in Geneva you usually got it out all the way down because he's coming in so far ah right <laughs> And they're picking up on the grounds our BA shuttle back to London Heathrow. Nice. And yeah, one of the benefits of having that uh, speed brakes out in the air is it allows you to descend a lot quicker as well. Because obviously the aircraft uh, is not uh, over speeding when you descend too quick then. Oh. Kind of like applying your brakes to your car when you're going downhill. Uh, no loops, I think it's next month, dude. Next month. Hey Gizmo, nice to see you mate. Do you rent the podium you guys from? No, we've got an, uh, a partnership with the Aviation Society with, uh, that gets us access to this location. We've worked with the Aviation Society for a long time and uh, yeah, we're very lucky to be uh, using the tower to stream from. Yes. And of course they use it every weekend for the um, commentary system here at the RVP which you can hear in the background right now. And, uh, yeah. It's kind of that. Like the little echo, I think. I think it just gets so windy today. He's J320 just touching down. Yeah, the camera is getting blown around a lot. Yeah, it's mainly when you zoom in and out, isn't it? Yeah. It's what it is. And the speed brake still deployed on this aircraft as well. And there they go. Sorry. 
slightly shorter than an A320. Seven mile flight. Is that from 2009 to 13 years old? And there goes the Turkish Airlines A321. This will be, I'm assuming, the service going back to Dalaman. New cars on Twitch. Hello, nice to see you. Turkish Airlines, very popular on Manchester Airport these days. Flying uh, many aircraft daily from the likes of Istanbul and Del uh, Dalaman. I'm looking at flying with them in uh, September, so I'll definitely do a, uh, a trip report with them guys. We see them loads here at Manchester Airport flying a variety of different airframes, uh, right down to uh, A321s, I think it's the smallest one you'll see, maybe A320s, but I'm pretty sure the 21s are the smallest you'll see. Um, they'll fly the Max 9s sometimes, they'll fly the, uh, obviously the 321 Neos as well. Um, the Dreamliners very rarely, the 330s more often, and uh, rarely the 777s as well. I think the only aircraft they don't really fly in their fleets to Manchester is the A319s. If you're not following us on our other social medias, please do so. We have a Facebook page that we post their regular clips on and photos. We also have an Instagram page with high quality photos and uh, reels. Kindly recommend you give us a follow on them. And then Twitter for little updates and things as well. We also post that when we, uh, whenever we go live on Twitter, a little post we put out. And then obviously we stream on Facebook, Twitch and YouTube. So plenty of ways to get involved across the different platforms here on Airliners Live. If you're not a VIP yet uh, on YouTube, if you want to get that tower badge next to your name and all them customer modes, as well as access to the VIP lounge, bonus members only videos, test live streams, and potentially uh, discounts on merchandise with certain tiers as well. You can look into that. Hit the dollar symbol then click join on YouTube. You can become a member from as little as two pounds 99 a month. Very cheap. And it really helps us out a lot as well. And you get a huge shout out on stream. Likewise on Twitch, if you hit the subscribe button or on Facebook, hit the um, the green heart button. But um, you probably get the best value if you become a member on YouTube. Twitch isn't bad either, but YouTube's the main one. And they all help cover the costs of running the channel, of course. British Airways shuttle service now rolling. Another short break in arrivals, by the looks of it. We've got Turkish Airlines in from Istanbul, which is uh, about 10 minutes away. That's the uh, A321 Neo. We'll have just uh, arriving at the end of the runway. It's the Turkish A321 that came inbound from Dalaman. Well, he's saying there's currently a 2787 pinging on the ground. There is. And also we've got. Um, uh, really enjoying the live show today on your Super Sunday here on Airliners Live. We stream every Sunday and Wednesday at uh, Manchester Airport. And uh, at the moment, for the current schedule, we are streaming Wednesday evenings, and we start them shows at 4 p.m. UK time every Wednesday so we don't do Wednesday mornings anymore yeah that's just while the RVP is open till 8 o'clock um, when the RVP change their hours again we'll probably uh, change hours but um, 
yeah, that's just make the most of the fantastic lighting in the afternoon and evening from the Runway Visitor Park. And uh, if you're into your photography, we definitely recommend that you come down and pay them a visit um, in the evenings. As I say, they're now open till 8 p.m., which is uh, absolutely awesome. It is great. I, uh, I I got so many really good pictures on the last show, and uh, looking forward to taking many more on the next one. Here goes the Turkish Airlines, starting its takeoff roll, heading back down to Dalaman. Turkish A321's uh, heading back to Dalaman and it's uh, company aircraft is just uh, joining the approach now and that's in from Istanbul seeing lots of uh, flights with Turkish Airlines which is great to see and James and Mike saying uh, I'm loving the channel. Keep up the great work. I've sent you a picture on Instagram of my uh, 100 inch image, stream, uh, image streaming your channel. Would love to join as soon as I'm able to. Hey, well, maybe you spent all your money on the 100 inch, James. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. I'm going to check that out straight That's away. It's a big, uh, big setup, that, isn't it? It is. Let's have a quick Gucci at this. I wonder if Turkish Airlines will have to repaint their fleet due to the, the country changing name. Well, apparently the the airline are also uh, filing a name change as well. I need to learn how to pronounce it, <laughs> since we see them so often on Airliners Live. <coughs> Pegasus, uh, I think it's an A320neo now starting a very slow takeoff roll. There you go, it's getting up to speed now. Oh, Team Sparky, cooking bread and watching, send a picture of the bread. Team Sparky, if you're in the chat, that's looking 10 out of 10. I'm not seeing the picture yet of this 100 inch. There goes the Pegasus A320 Neo heading back to I don't know, is it off to Istanbul? Is it? Antalya. Antalya. Second. And just a quick yay or nay, guys, in the chat. How many of you guys regularly use Twitter? If you put yay in the chat or nay, depending on whether you use it, you would say you use it regularly or not. Because um, I'm currently uh, just debating our efforts on Twitter and uh, whether or not we should continue to push as much as we do on there, because I, I don't feel like we get much traction on Twitter. I see a lot of people tagging us on uh, Instagram. I'll have to go through them at the end. And, uh, add, a I've add a few to our stories. But yeah, if you are on Instagram, give us a tag on your story with whatever you're watching on. There is a Tui Dreamliner taxiing out now. Painty patchwork, as we like to call it. Quite a lot of nays. I'd say it's mostly balanced, though, I'd say. 
looks very good. It's a great down to the, 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 the right down to the south west, but the, the range is keeping away from us, which is good. Yeah, Twitter's a weird one. It's uh, definitely a very weird platform. I think it, it tends to give a voice to people who are really angry about politics, but apart from that... Or uh, anything. Nothing, <laughs> like nothing really. airport and, and uh, something goes wrong. Or, uh, it mainly, it's many companies, isn't it, as well? Like, Because yeah. I've noticed that's just a default thing for people to do now, is if they have a bad experience with a company, instead of phoning up or writing an email, they'll just write a tweet. Yeah. And uh, they usually get a response that way. If you'd like somebody else, it's the 148 service, just in case anybody needs to know. I do love Instagram though. I think that's a, a very nice platform to use. Yeah, I really like Instagram. And we are uh, uploading a lot on our Instagram at the moment. So head on over to Airliners Live, give us a follow. No worries, Jenny. Have a great time. Head into the Guinness Brewery now, guys. Oh, nice. Fantastic, here over in Dublin. I've been on that myself. It's uh, really good. That was a really, really good uh, experience going on the uh, the Guinness factory tour over in uh, Dublin I love Dublin as a city it's a really nice city really nice place obviously not a long travel from the likes of Manchester got another aircraft on final approach here yeah it's our Turkish look at that big crab on the go do you use TikTok? Um, I've recently started uploading our shorts there, yeah. So just search for Airliners Live on there. Again, that's another platform that I feel isn't really worthy of the effort, but Gary V seems to think that it's uh, well worth the effort, so I'll give it a try. I've been watching a lot of Gary V recently. Great source of... Uh, Social media knowledge. This Turkish Airlines are really getting blown around. Do you know what aircraft it is? 21 Neo. Nice. Getting that nose down, trying to keep it on the ILS. Oh, really done? Oh, big bounce there, but getting it down on 2 3 right. Here in this really windy day here at Manchester Airport. <laughs> when are we getting an airliners live only fans? It's, it's been up for about a year, Marcus. What do you mean? <laughs> Pratt Whitney engines making a lovely sound there. And Peter Wilson on Facebook says your picture quality on your shows is excellent, so clear. It's great that you're doing Wednesday evening shows. First one was brilliant, couldn't stop watching. Can we please have Mrs. Airliners on one of your shows once a week? Jen just comes down whenever she's available, mate. She's uh, sometimes like today, she's with her mum and dad. And, yeah, Jen, Jen just comes on when she can. Thank you. 
Matt Smith looks like he's just questioning all his life choices for today of how we ended up on the mound. He's just like, why, why am I here? <laughs> Blown all over the place. Brave guy standing on the block there. When you stood on that block when it was um, Storm Eunice. Yeah, that's where me and Matt were, yeah. Crazy guys. Joe Smith says, I want to watch it live by a fella who hates planes. Typical. Well, listen, what you got to do is you got to get up five minutes before him and get it on the telly. And that's, that's it. And you've won, haven't you? you? Get up before, grab the remote, stuff it down the back of the pillow so you can't find it. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Biggest gust of wind just hit me, though, as that rotated. Yeah, Owen looks after our only fans. We feel it fits his personality, you know, with him loving Love Island so much. <laughs> Next to land is uh, Jet 2, 737800. It's in from Views. It's probably, probably the first Jet 2 we've seen on the stream. I know we've seen a 75. It is, but that's followed by its 330 Big Brother. Oh, like, nice. Brought in from Air Tank, at least. And that's in from Palmer de Mallorca. Amazing. Into the last half an hour of today's show, guys. If you've not clicked the thumbs up, click the thumbs up for us. Let's smash those likes. We got this Corrindon 737 on a taxi out. And the Istanbul and the uh, Turkish Airlines would just say. Uh, this is Corrindon Airlines. And they are operating uh, out to uh, Dalaman with their 7800. Mod Matt, I was just their saying their then, door. whilst you were taking and your yeah, pictures, that getting so blown about you're looking like you're questioning all of your life, life, life choices for being on the mound today so <laughs> <laughs> whenever you're done come and chill mate come and get yourself in and we'll grab some lunch here comes the jet 2737 the next arrival on these very gusty conditions at manchester couple of heavies to wrap up today's show including the Saudi Dreamliner from Jeddah um, that's also followed by um, the Jordan Aviation A330 from Islamabad and uh, probably our final arrival would be the uh, Qatar 777-300 from Doha but uh, before that we've got uh, Jet 2 A330 on the way in as well Great job getting the aircraft down there in the wind. Uh, Sonia tuning in from Brazil, welcome. And uh, Mako from Poland, great to see you, dude. It's, uh, <laughs> David tuning in from a uh, windy South Yorkshire. Welcome, David. Welcome, welcome. And as John says, can we hit 3K likes before the end of the show, guys? Keep us up to date in the chat. Some will be in the and some will be in the, what you might call the standard airline livery of... And red, we'll call it red and silver. We tend to be red and silver in the sunshine and red and grey when there's no sunshine around. That's more like the airline. Are. They are just exactly the same airline and they're not separate in any way. They just use their, their aircraft as uh, great big flying billboards to say, look, we don't just provide seats out to different countries, we have to provide with holidays as well. Just looking out for that. 3.30 now. I think it's going to be the next arrival into Manchester Airport. 
And Carl Crawford with the two pound super chat. Say, so let's get the pound train rolling for a great stream. Thank you very much, Carl. If you'd like to join that train, click the dollar symbol and click Super Chat to send a donation to the channel. Very much appreciate all of you guys tuning in today. Thank you very much. And uh, cheers, Carl. For getting that train rolling, dude. Uh, Mark Dub 69 tuning in for the first time from Dublin. A very warm welcome to you, Mark. Ronnie, thanks for the one pound super chat boarding that train. Appreciate it, dude. Let's have a look at the blurry plops of the Logan Air ATR 72. But now it's eyes to the skies as we have another heavy arrival today. The Airbus A330 200 series. Jet 2. So that's why you're here with so lot about 7800 because there's a lot on out there. Yeah, Mr. John Fez with a 25 months of business class membership. What a boss. Mr. John. Cheers, dude. Hope you well, mate. Thank you very much, John. The only uh, mod who has a gold tail. <laughs> Need to look at getting the next one on. Because uh, yeah, the, uh, we think the gold tail is the last one, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> John Mason, thanks very much for the £1 super chat. And Dean uh, Bavista, also joining the £1 train. Cheers, guys. Uh, they take also joining that one pound train, thank you dude. Chris Luby with a two pounds, super chats, big bonk. Thank you very much guys. Here we go, 3.30 next to land, enjoy this. <laughs> uh, just to try and prove you wrong, um, you see just landing at the moment is a Jet 2 A330. Now it's a beautifully nice done. I've just told you about, and that's because this aircraft is awesome actually, job. Uh, that's the operator by air. Well done. It's the pilot in control there, there on the arrival. Including the name. That's his third uh, operator for the RAF. Stop it nice and quick as well. To the refueling aircraft for the RAF. Although the reverse is already attracted. I'm sure she'll make the exit ahead of us. Just overshooting it. Robert Maynard, thanks for joining that one pound train, dude. Really appreciate it, mate. John Fez and Lee Davies also aboard, along with Stu Peters and Loopy. Jet 2, what happened to Jet 1? <laughs> Love that. Jet 2 clearly won that uh, match. Uh, just joined the ILS. Is the Saudi from Jeddah? Left five hours fifty-one minutes ago. Seven eight seven dash nine. Another heavy arrival. Patrick tuning in from Nairobi, Kenya. A very warm welcome to you. Scott saying excellent picture from Brisbane on the seventy-five inch Sony. Yeah, boy. Don't forget guys to tag us on Instagram with a picture of your setups that you're watching Airliners live on and we'll get them on the old story. Corridor 737 now rolling. That's back to Dalaman.
Nice quick taxi there of the uh, Air Tank 8330 operating on behalf of Jet 2 today. And on Lee Brace, well, thanks for joining the train as well with a £2 super chat. Appreciate it, dude. With the present fuel price, this is the price of fuel at the moment. Airlines have decided, particularly with the occurrence of the COVID pandemic. Logan uh, ATR 72 lining up for Newquay. Nice, we might just see that. <laughs> and on the taxi out, we've also got a Virgin Atlantic A33300 for New York JFK. Which is awesome, we'll be seeing that very shortly. But another thing is that engine technology has come on now that we can actually quite safely fly long distance flights because it was two engines, the reliability and economics of operating these large newer engines is such that you don't actually need four engines. There goes the Logan app. Uh, there's a story one of years ago, somebody asked one of the guys from Bowen. That's why it takes long to get up in the air. Four engine air airline was at the 707 and so on. Is that why you're only flying four engines? There it is already. Uh, so there aren't any five engine bombs. Uh, years and years ago, the engines were nowhere near as economical and as reliable as they are now. And if you go back into the 50s, um, the, most of the... Uh, kind of really getting blown around there, there up in the air. Cam EB, yes, uh, we are, yeah. <laughs> It's either getting blown around or they gave us a wing wave, I'm not sure. Uh, Jim C, yes, if you follow the link from Nightbot, uh, that should get you to sign up, mate. So there'll be a link in the chat from Nightbot. There it is, it says become one of our fantastic VIPs by clicking this link. If you click that, Jim C, uh, you can choose one of our support tiers there, mate. Thank you very much for considering signing up to be a VIP. Casper the friendly plane taxiing out. Might be a small link, is it? Uh, it is a Saudi uh, Dreamliner next in. Casper's on the way out as well. Robin with the uh, Casper emotes in the chat. And uh, it looks like Casper's going to use runway 2. He's waiting to cross. I think it is 1 pm that the runway 2 reopens. Rainer Taylor, you've probably been gifted a membership, that's why. So you'll have to sign up once that expires. You've probably been gifted one month's membership. Hope you enjoy it. Continuing on the runway to roll past the exit there. Not to mention about airlines not sometimes not even painting the aircraft when they reach the mid. So Manchester has now started dual runway ops. And that'll go on for the last half an hour of today's live show. Until about, I think it's 8 pm they stick on their dual runway ops. Until. So now they are using 2 3 left for departures and 2 3 right. Right for arrivals. So these two aircraft here, you've got the uh, A320 up front and the A330 behind, both heading over runway 1 right now to uh, use runway 2 for the departure. Switching it up on the Super Sunday show. What a great view there of the Virgin Atlantic 330. She's heading off to JFK in New York. Nick Gray on Facebook saying fantastic camera work and perfectly clear. Great show. Thank you very much, Nick. Cheers, Nick. Glad you're enjoying it. For you guys watching on Facebook, if you want to join uh, the massive community we have at Airliners Live, consider having a look at our YouTube channel. We're live streaming there as well. And uh, currently there's about 3,000. 
thousand people watching on our YouTube channel at the moment. So if you do want to get involved in the community, then just search for Airliners Live on YouTube. You'll need to click subscribe, which is completely free um, to get access to the chat. So for anyone who's been gifted a membership on today's stream, that gives you access to all of our membership perks for one month. And after that, you'll need to sign up to continue those perks or it will automatically expire. You don't need to do anything, guys, if uh, you want to just let it expire. So don't worry about it. But uh, if you do enjoy your time as a VIP, consider signing up. And continuing that membership as a few people have done today. Saudi Dreamliner looking great in front of us here at the RVP. It's definitely a livery that looks better in the sun. The huge composite wings on the Dreamliner. And Mike, thank you very much for the $1.99 saying great show and tech and talk as always, says Mike. Thank you very much, dude. Cheers, Pleasure Mike. Enjoyed it today. And the version of Atlantic A330 now lining up on 2-3 left, ready for the departure. We'll flip over and catch her departing soon for uh, JFK. How long does the gifted membership last, guys? Uh, one month, Phil. One month, Phil. Right? And Bill saying, hi, first time poster here. Watching along with my wife, Chris, on our 65-inch smart TV. What a wonderful picture for us here in Northumberland. Great job, guys. There you go. Thank you very much. A huge welcome to the Airliners Live community, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We stream every Wednesday and every Sunday from Manchester Airport. And uh, Thursdays, um, we stream from Vancouver, Canada, but uh, Henry is uh, off for a couple of weeks, so that's offline just for a couple of weeks, guys. But uh, yeah, loads of uh, live aviation content, including our flight sim shows on Monday evenings as well with John. So if you're new to us today, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out, and follow us on our social channels for all of our updates. Starting to wait rain on the Wirral, looking heavy, says Ashley. Yeah, the wind is blowing the other way, though, so I think we'll be all right. In fact, well, it's blowing from the sort of south, so we, yeah, we might be okay. And our Jordan Aviation is uh, just joined the ILS, infamous Lamabad, that aircraft operating flights for um, Pakistan at the moment. Michelle loving the show on the 65 inch TV, watching with her husband. She's nice. Premium Economy, brand new member. Thank you very much, uh, Jim. 
Welcome, Jim. Appreciate the membership. Huge welcome to VIP, mate. Thank Enjoy you. those emotes and the tower badge next to your name as well. What airline was this again? Uh, Jordan Aviation. Ah, yes. And Mark Harris, a very warm and welcome to the community, saying just discovered this on YouTube, sub and enjoying the content. Hey, welcome, Mark. Great to have you with us. It's a very windy day here at Manchester Airport. Been consistently windy throughout the live show today. Uh, Mark, you'd need to make a, a Google account, mate. Whoa, <laughs> big gust there. I thought the aircraft was going round then. Just kind of stopped. Uh, Jordan uh, Jordan Allen, it's on behalf of Pakistan Airlines. Um, Finally uh, getting her down. down. Really getting blown around on the very final moments. Ninety-nine stars on Facebook. Really appreciate that, Michelle. Guys on Twitch, clip that arrival for us. Don't forget all of your clips on Twitch. Get selected for um, our highlight reel once per month, so you may see your clip on our highlight reel, guys. So well worth clipping things that you think would be worthy. land from Amsterdam is a uh, KLM Embraer 175. Hopefully it gets off in front of us so we can it's see those uh, winglets. And following that is a uh, Jet Netherlands Embraer Legacy 600 and quite an interesting livery. Black and grey. Looks, uh, looks really cool. An excellent landing from the Jordan Aviation A330, given how windy it was then at the final moments of the approach. So Jordan operating flights for PIA at the moment. Snapper, thank you very much for the 100 bits on Switch. I love your stream. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate that, guys. A huge welcome to Layla, who's tuning in and joining the show as well. Welcome, Layla. Michelle, if you click the green heart 
Shield badge there if you want to watch it on Facebook or if you head over to YouTube is where you'll get the most benefits by signing up as a VIP. I would definitely recommend uh, becoming a VIP on YouTube so you get access to our VIP only videos. That huge winglet on the KLM E175. Very nice looking aircraft this. Yeah, Matt, we've spotted that biz jet. So that's next to land. Easy jet was crossing over for runway two. Easy jet's uh, heading to Venice. The uh, captain there looking at his um, charts there. Navigating Manchester Airport, of course. But we'll pay some attention to this uh, Legacy 600. A livery I've not seen before myself here at Manchester. Exactly, Nicholas. Nothing like a fresh blast of Jet A to start the day. Warm and smells great. The traffic demand over Europe and indeed the world it is so great that uh, all the, the number of aircraft primary crews have to be regulated to prevent people getting control of getting overloaded. Uh, you can't just keep pushing aeroplanes to people and hoping to sort them out. It doesn't quite work that way. So what they've done now is there's a, a place in Brussels called the Central Flow Management Unit. Also there's and another the aircraft coming in straight behind it as well. Where is this Arkansas triple? Ooh, and they nice. And they actually I'm afraid that will steal the spotlights from this beautiful VizJet here. Nice design on the on the body there. What do we think in the chat? Do we like it? We've got time. We've got time to look at it. Yeah. Wow, look at the front. Uh, just under the nose. Like, like really intricate stripe design. Looks great, doesn't it? Or maybe they wanted to stand for another aircraft apart from stand. That's one for the big TVs. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that from here. Yeah, they all look really good. It's beautiful. Good job we're not uh, streaming into Laced. <laughs> That's been a bit of a mess, wasn't it? <laughs> Switch it over to the Qatar Triple Seven, 300 ER from Doha. People really love that in the chat. Zebra of the sky saying Dan Hill. Awesome livery. A condor needs to take up a uh, page out of their book. It certainly does. <laughs> Vertical stripes done well. Uh, another, uh, our Not that awful the design they've got. Is uh, the next to uh, land here at Manchester. This is Qatar Airways Triple Seven, inbound from Doha, capital of uh, Qatar, of course. <laughs> this Triple Seven is uh, it's down. Uh, 300 extended range. Uh, it's all that matters today. Probably yeah. the, after the ACA, it's the largest aircraft we're going to see here at Manchester. seen this exact aircraft a few times at Manchester. <coughs> the registration is Alpha 7 BAP. But is it BAP or is it BAP? <laughs> that's our last heavy arrival for today's show. Next in we've got a uh, louder A320 operating on behalf of Ryanair. That's it for the side grip. Across on the far runway, if you look at the map of the airfield, which you can find on online, there's actually six access points to the runway at this end of the runway. Great to see the Qatar triple. We actually see one of these just apart. Just before we were used to go live, the Qatar triple. 
Is it a band or a cop? <laughs> Let's not start that debate, come on. Now listen, just say no, I've got a new badge. There you go, Alison. That means you've been supporting us for just over a year. Oh, I've got a red tail off, actually. She has. Nice. And Carl, thank you very much for the five pound soup chat saying brilliant show today, guys. Well done. Cheers, Carl. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. Yeah, we'll catch these next couple of arrivals, guys, and then wrap up today's show. The Qatar in just a little bit earlier than expected. Yeah, the RVP's up until late at the moment, Mark. Does that work, John? From, uh, what I was saying Mate, on. nice, uh, John. Well done, mate. John, they're getting their weather command for us working. We tried for ages to get that to work and uh, they couldn't get it to work. That's awesome, Mark. Which platform, Mark? All of them. Oh, yo, nice. Cheers, John. That's amazing. today the last Sunday of the month believe it or not it's gone fast it our next aircraft uh, is a uh, TUI 737-800 from Dubrovnik and then we're just riding air down for the next 10 or 15 minutes so we'll wrap it on this TUI guys not much shifting around on the ground going out at all to be honest but I hope you've all enjoyed today's show if you are new here Make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave. Give us a thumbs up as well. And hit that bell icon as well. And uh, finally check out our Instagram. The search for Airliners Live on Instagram. We're always posting on there. Uh, so we definitely encourage you guys to follow us on Instagram. Uh, I think it's quick time now for the 12. A little quick, a little time. Everybody, we're going to shout out to the first three people who get the answer correct. 
So we're going to do that in the next couple of minutes. So keep your listening ears on. And we'll be bringing you quite now. The question, the answer to the question... No worries, Dan. Thank you, mate. You. In fact, we always have told you in Commonwealth. So if you've been listening to us, you already know the answer to the question that we're going to give There you, you. go. Big crosswind on the uh, short final approach there. Oh, yeah. But, uh... No worries, Robert. Thank you very much for all of your gifted memberships today, mate. You've uh, smashed it for us today. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. To a uh, service from Dubrovnik. But it's 737-800 this time. Sometimes fly the max on this route. The big split skimitar winglets. The end of the wings. Thanks, Amanda White. And JD saying being a fabulous stream. Thank you so much, and thank you again, Alison, for the membership. Hope you enjoy that, JD. A lot of great feedback on today's show. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, ladies and gents. We are uh, going to start wrapping up now. We've got another uh, aircraft about to touch down as well. So, just a Ryanair in from. Uh, okay, then, the quiz question. So, uh, 412. From Milan. What you need oh, yeah. to do to uh, answer the question is make your way over to the comfort box. I'll be sat downstairs with the door open. Careful you run over. Nice and dry today, so I hope you're going to slip and anything. No worries, Robin. Over. Cheers, mate. Question is this. I've been Can't wait for the Wednesday show. Ryan, huh? Hopefully we get some nice sunshine. All we need to do That'd be great, yeah. Any of the countries the runway visitor park now open till 8 p.m. So we go live at about 4 p.m. and bring you a good few hours of uh, later evening arrival and departure action here from uh, Manchester Airport's runway visitor park. And we go on till about half seven. Uh, as late as we can, really. Touching down from Milan. Right now, flight 682 No worries, just calls. Thank you, mate. anyone who's a new VIP on the channel, so a paying member, or you've received a gifted membership, get yourself involved in the VIP lounge over on Facebook, if you've got a Facebook account, that is. And that is an exclusive group, private group, for paying members of LMS Live, and the whole team are in there too. A lot of behind-the-scenes discussions, votes, photos, news, everything like that good place to socialize and get involved with the vip community uh, mark put the vote out the other day to see uh, what time our new regular slot should be on a, on a wednesday and uh, with an overwhelming majority you guys voted for 4 p.m rather than the usual the old 10 a.m start so the next live show from manchester airport will be 4 p.m and that's going to wrap us up for today's show, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the stream today. As always, it's been Martin and Andy bringing you the show today with Mod Matt up on the mound. I see him taking pictures of modding, and he's up and down, up and down constantly. Nice <laughs> on that. But uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow evening for the Flight Sim Show with John Fezzer. So make sure you tune in to that from 7 p.m. 
and uh, we'll be back live from Manchester on the Wednesday evening show uh, from 4pm here at the Runway Visit Park. Keep those fingers crossed for some nice light in like last week, guys, because that was probably one of my favourite shows of the year. Um, but thanks to everyone tuning in today, all the new subscribers, a very warm welcome to the community. Thanks to everyone who's dropped gifty subs, donations and memberships. But for now, as always, we've been Airliners Live. Thank you very much for tuning in on the Sunday show, and we'll see you all next week. Have a great rest of your weekend, guys. It's a wrap for now. See ya.